Hello and welcome everyone. How are we all doing today? Oh, Silt Strider meal. Oh, howdy. Hello, uh, Nami, Grimace, Phoenix, and uh, Dragon Catman. Hello and welcome. All right. Hope day's been nice to everyone. Hope everyone's having themselves a lovely day today. We're having a nice day today. We get to play this game again. How could it not be a nice day? And Psycho is here. Hello and welcome. Happy to have you here. Alright. Ooh, that's exciting, Nami. Ooh, that's very exciting. Hell yeah. All right, so we're going to go ahead and talk about this for a minute. So, long-time viewers of the channel may remember one of our longest-running stream game series where we streamed like eight or nine sessions of Lobotomy Corporation. Uh, hang on, Psycho, can you try speaking? Your mic now might have been coming through on Discord. What the hell? Try again? Okay, hang on again. Uh, we can hear you fine? No, you're not coming through on stream. Give us a moment. Okay. It should be that one. Go ahead. Yeah, hello. There you are. One, two, one, two. There you, you are. are. Perfect. Exclamation point question mark. All right. <laughs> okay, yeah, we had to refix things because we did uh, unplug a lot of our setup and everything. I had to redo parts of our setup, so that's fine. All right. Perfect. So, a little quiet. Okay, we'll turn Psycho up a little bit. All right. So, originally... Several months ago, we streamed Lobotomy Corporation and made some dang good progress, honestly. I think we were like two-thirds of the way through the game. And then through a very... In our last stream of it, um, due to a very unfortunate series of uh, choices that we made and rash decisions, we lost it all. We lost everything. Well, not everything. Well, we lost well, a lot, lots, a lot. You lost a lot of equipment, but all of the permanent progress is still here. Yeah, we, you know, we lost. Yeah, the progress is still there, but we lost all of our employees. Not our employees. Uh, we lost all of our equipment that we had spent eight streams at that point grinding up and everything, and didn't have anything. And while it was technically a recoverable situation, um. Boy fucking howdy, was it going to be a difficult one. <laughs> so, uh, we took a break. We burned the place down. Burned Lob Corp away. It's gone now. Thankfully, we found a new facility. And so we start again. But, this time, things are going to be a little different. For one, we still have all our employees with us. They all escaped, thankfully. Unfortunately, that does mean bastard intern Summer did survive. This is unfortunate, but we shall handle this. To our best of our ability. Uh, so. There's also a few fun little things that have been added in. By, uh, friend Psycho here. Added a couple extra sneaky little things in here. So. This will be us starting again from day one. But all may not be as it seems from the start. So, with that said, let us begin again. And this time, we're going all the way. We're finishing at the game. Ooh, nice! A good crisp one to go with it. Excellent. We're both prepared now for this. 
all of us are prepared. We hope you all have drinks and everything ready to go. Day one, begin. Initializing system. A familiar friend. That's fair. One sin and hundreds of good deeds, our friend. It feeds on the evil that seeps out during conversations between people. Contractual, etc., etc., you know how it is. What? Uh, what? Uh huh? Contractual. You know, final observation. You. you... <laughs> you, di you died you died observing this guy we did so, die uh, so good thing we get the final observation give us a moment yeah. however because uh you did just fulfill your contractual obligation however we noted uh no notification came up on screen but it just played the audio for it oh which is weird again we uh swapped a lot of our stuff over to uh stream elements instead of stream labs so we're just going to try and give that a quick refresh here and then we will continue um alert sounds it should be playing it was working perfectly fine before the stream what the hell anyways thank you very much psycho we appreciate it we don't know why that just played with no notification sound or warning but okay anyways Okay, uh, so, what? It happens. Well, thank you for as well for the 11 month resub. Now we know that part's working. It's just the, uh, well, this one's working, yeah. That one's working great. Why the donation one didn't work, we don't know. We'll find out. We'll figure that out later. This is a mystery. All right, anyways, uh, speaking of donations, one last thing we're gonna talk about again, because we're probably gonna talk about this every fucking stream now for a while. You might notice that bar down in the corner that says new computer. That's replaced our standard donation bar. You see, we've made it a throne goal to get ourselves a new computer. So we're looking at a grand total of roughly 1400 US dollars. Plus shipping and handling. And while we don't expect, like, we're not entirely crowdfunding this, like, you know, it's not all going to be crowdfunded. We're going to we're going to put in, chip in what money we can as well ourselves here sort of thing, of course. This might make it a little easier for us to pull off. So if you're interested in helping us improve the stream and get ourselves a much higher quality rig, head on down to that throne link wishlist that's down below the stream. Anyways, that's our shield done for the day. Back to the actual game. Let's get started. Phoenixes have been said to bring both blessings and destruction to those who catch them since ancient times. That brilliant aura is what gives people the desire to win. The desire to win as long as you go blind. Final observation of the Firebird achieved. That bastard, the Firebird, who we gave it all up for. It happens. What the? I mean... Huh? It's a fire, but you reborn, you reborn from the ashes. That's huh? that's what it's all about. You know? And uh, you know what? It's beautiful. It's symbolic. What the fuck just happened? It did the audio thing again, where it just read out your subscription message. So delayed. Hang on. We think we know what's happening there. Hang on a second. We're going to fix that right now. Cause it's going to scare us every single goddamn time if we don't go and fix it now. Please wait warmly. And again, it wouldn't be a Lobotomy Corp stream without technical difficulties right off the bat. It wouldn't be a Grief So Dearly stream right. without technical difficulties right off the bat. Hiya, Sound Jake. Welcome. We're fixing technical difficulties before we begin. Okay. We think what it is is... Uh, I think we have to disable that... Oh, you know what it is? You know why that donation didn't work? We know why. We know why. Okay. Mm -hmm. We've solved it. We know why that didn't work. Uh... You don't like the money I stole from the Shadow Government? No, no, we love the money you stole from the Shadow Government. 
Rather, the donation link below the stream leads still to the Streamlabs donation link. It does not lead to the new Stream Elements donation link. That's what it is. Okay. We can fix that then. We think. Hang on, we're doing live technical fixing. So, uh, all of you just relax here in the lobby. To this very, very nice jam. We're just going to enjoy the music for a little bit, you know? Together. While we do uh, some technical stuff. Could have found out about this thousand later. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'd rather fix this all now than later. Okay. And now... Alright. We should have fixed this before the stream, of course, but it didn't occur to us that this is... This would be broken in the way it's broken. Say lovey. Say lovey. Excuse me for dropping in. Thank God Winston is still here with us, though. Thank God. Oh, what? Okay. All right. And with that, it should be all set to go now. Should be. Unless. What was that? All right. <laughs> we were graced for a single moment by Mike. All right. Okay, yes, we have fixed it, we think. It's all fixed up. So, uh, ideally now, if you click that button down below for donate, it will take you to a different page. It's been one year. God. Has it ever, Grape? And, must, and might we say, Grape, what a good year it's been to know you. Thank you for your support. Yep, and that's another page. Yep. yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good. Glad to have you here, Mike, and nowhere else. Not anywhere else or in any other possible channel. All right. It's okay. You can, be, you can be in other places. That's also fair. I'm okay. All right. That's it. Let's actually continue now that we've solved the technical difficulties that were holding us back. We're going to actually uh, continue here. Damn. Uh, yeah, okay, then, yeah, rest yourself up, Mike. You don't have to come hang out for the bit. If you're not feeling good. Anyways. Alright. Hello, X. I give you a warm welcome to Lobotomy Corporation. I am Angela, 
your advisor and secretary. My role as an AI is to assist you in adjusting to your new workplace. So please have no worry in speaking with me or asking any questions. It's a pretty name for an AI. Wouldn't you say so? I was born from one of the wings of the world. It signifies that I am one of the best to exist in this age. Ah, I know what you must be thinking. Your eyes show... It's been one year. We turned that off. We turned that off. Why did it do that again? Do what? What did it do again? Streamlabs did the text reading thing again. I think that's because I donated twice because the first time it didn't work. No, no, no. It's not, not because of that. It's because of the, uh... It's because... No, it was reading Grape's subscription. Oh. Resubscription message. It's been one year. Samo Hi, howdy, Samosa. Welcome. Yeah, we're just enjoying the music for a minute while we try and fix this subscription technical issues after we swapped everything over. We swear we just turned those noises off. Hell on earth. Hell on dear technique. Will you save this time? Will you remember that we did that this time, please? Yes, everyone, please wait warmly while we fix these problems. Okay. They should now be properly functioning. That's okay. Silt Strider is just as good. Okay. We're good. Let's actually do this. <clears throat> Your eyes show that you think I look too human to be an AI. Am I wrong? However, there is a great difference between us. I am bound here. I cannot go wherever I please like you do. I may be able to operate the systems of this corporation to open a door and prepare a cup of coffee for you, but I cannot take a step outside of this building to bask in the sunlight or feel the gentle breeze. Now. In regards to my appearance, as you can see, the color of my hair is that of the morning sky after a light shower. The tone and shape of my voice is taken from the wisest person in the world. Lastly, my face is picture picturesque of the person who had the most beautiful smile. Haha, <laughs> don't worry. That was a joke. There can be no such person on this earth. My appearance was designed with attractiveness to the largest number of people possible in mind. If the way I look is pleasing to your eyes, then I am working as intended. Moving on, artificial intelligence is much more efficient in comparison to humans in terms of multitasking. Hey, you might be a little wrong on that. Angela, you might be a touch wrong there. Just a tiny bit. I am the best in a majority of work fields. I am able to handle the work of several dozen people at once. I am certain many people have lost their jobs because of me. It's such a shame. Well, enough with introductions. Is there anything that you would like to know? Tell me more about yourself. How should I describe this in layman's terms? I heard that it took an enormous amount of time and effort to create me. All kinds of new algorithms and features were developed, inscribing a new chapter in the history of artificial intelligence. And I serve the company. In search of a solution, we hammered to stumble upon mysterious beings whom we dumped abnormalities. Then, we figured out that energy could be harvested from these abnormalities via a special method. 
While AIs as a concept have become so commonplace that they are seen and used everywhere in this day and age, I am quite different in comparison to the rest of the pack. That is, I can closely imitate human emotions. This is not a simple task, as emotion is a highly sophisticated, originally biological system that is substantially more unpredictable and complex than any other. Along with other functions at my disposal, I will be your perfect partner. You have joined the company at an opportune moment, by the way. Lobotomy Corporation is always looking for ways to improve its harvesting processes. Our systems are continually updated to support this. Speaking of which, there was a new update to the system right before you arrived. That means the working conditions have been improved upon compared to those of your predecessors. Think of it as a small welcoming gift. Best of luck for us. I was just about to mention you. You don't understand the concept of patience, do you? Oh, pardon my manners, manager. I was talking to one of the other AIs that work here. I should introduce you to her. Our facility is a huge one, and even I would have trouble managing it on my own. So someone determined that there should be an AI to assume head control of each department. If I were to be considered the, the Cerebrum, they would be the Cerebellum. Naturally, of course, I should be your most trustworthy and capable companion among all the AIs. Well then, shall we greet her now? The memories of all Sephiroth has been synchronized. Good day, Manage. Would you like to expand the control department? Hello once again, Malkuth. Now, you may know, if you're new here, Malkuth is not an anime girl like the last character we just talked to. Malkuth is an AI. This is a surviving thing from our last playthrough. This That's right. means that we have completed this section. When you finish uh, fixing the traumatize the trauma of uh, someone, they become a funny little box. That's how it goes. This is true in all universes. Also, hello and welcome, Wise Desi. Hey. Well, we're happy to have you here supporting our new management. Uh, we, this is a round two for us. We've uh, done this before, and we did a bad thing last time, and so it's been a hot minute since our return. So, But we're excited to be back in the hot seat. And you'll note over here, the whole crew survived, including Bastard Intern Summer. Have a wee little bit of people. We have a little bit of people prepared here. So, that said, we're going to send some folks in who clearly need a little bit more training here. Just a wee bit. Because, uh, oof. Yeah, no, some of their stats are lower than they should be. Oof. All right. Well, that said, we've got some other people here with killer stats going in, of course. All right. Ah. I do believe. We'll have to re-customize Loki at some point. Because Loki had a different appearance they used. Uh, yeah, okay. Ah, uh, the chat box is covering part of the screen. We didn't consider that element of this. Alright, hang on a second. Oh. Uh, okay, yeah, for the time being. Oof. We made it to... Fine. Yeah. When the game's going to start. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, we're just gonna go over to. We're just gonna do this real quick, and we're just gonna click that off. That should be fine. That should do it for this. Uh, we made it to day thirty. We were on day thirty when the phoenix burnt it all down, and started, and we yeah. start again. Anyways, we did the SI uh, suppressions, and then we uh, we, we had a little. Uh, an incident? We had an accident occur. Uh, yeah. And so it goes. You know, it you know how it goes with birds and phoenixes and all that. You know how it goes. You know, you how, know it how we goes. goes with birds. Sometimes you accidentally lose all the armor and uh, equipment you made. It happens sometimes. Alright, so. 
we're sending in Yui and Delaney, our wonderful, wonderful employees that uh, greeted us in here. Yui, actually know Gori was the original employee we had who doesn't have maxed out stats yet. Interesting. Anyways. And, uh, let me see. Who else is, needs a little bit of stat work? We're not going to get it right now, of course, but, well, we could. We probably could. Uh, you know what? Yeah, Loki. Get it. All right, with hang, us hanging out with uh, one sin and hundreds of good deeds. All right, with that said, we're all placed in. No ordeals occurring. We've got no law points, but that's okay because we've got our fine, fine workforce returning with us. All right. Did we lose some of them? I, I don't like think you can lose people. I think at least one person's missing. Oh, wait. Um, when... Did, did you, like, go back to Memory Repo to revive people before going back to day one? Because otherwise, if you just, like... Oh, uh, shit. One without, without going back to Repo, you lost the people that died, yeah. We may have lost, uh... See, here's the thing. When we did that initially, that long time ago... Everyone was dead. Every single employee died. Um, okay, yeah. we lost a couple employees when we uh, went back. Probably because when we went back to the memory repo, there was a couple people we had made in the gap between 26 and 30. Oh, is that? Yeah. Is that, that, the, that we lost. Have, yeah, we didn't have, have them. Anyways, then. Unfortunate. Well, all right. We'll get them back, though. Yeah, they got retconned for the reboot. Unfortunately, hi, hello there, Blank. Uh, we're pretty sure you are one of the people that was retconned oh. in the reboot. We're so sorry. That's we're... just another no. opportunity to make yourself, right? Yeah. So, uh, don't worry, we'll rehire you from the depths of the burned remains of the last company. It'll be fine. Let's begin management, shall we? So, for anyone not familiar with the game who's joining us for the very first time here, welcome to Lobotomy Corporation. It's a little management sim. We've got our crew here. Ooh, that is a nice little addition there with the health bars sliding over top of each other like that. That is nice. Ooh, that's yeah. crisp and clean. So, all right. So, basically, we've got some funny little guys in funny little boxes. Our job is to take our wonderful employees and send them to work on these, to gather up boxes there in the corner. We don't have any missions. Yeah, that's the skull cross, one sin, and hundreds of good deeds. We have done all the work here. That's all saved and stored. So. Uh, it's been a hot minute. Remind us, what's the uh, input to uh, kick the speed up again? Oh, uh, equal. All right. There we go. We're going to kick the speed up to max here because we're going to rush through this opening stuff. Yeah, yeah. Click that link that Psycho made if you want to hop in. If you want to be hired as a great new employee here. So, that's it. Alright. I'm going to win today with great uh, benefits such as um, uh, dental health, health care, and uh, we buy you glasses, and um, you won't get to live in a black street. Yeah. So, and you might explode and die, but only maybe. But it's better than being in the past. Mm -hmm. All right. So, yeah, we've kicked up to super speed. That's one of the mods that uh, we've been given here is having high, high speed going here to make sure this goes as fast as possible here. It is possible we made some sacrifices here, I, I guess. You can hold a shift while uh, ordering work to uh, maximize, get it to remember? Yes. Yes. Now we remember. All right, we're trying to get some repression work going for you here. We're going to spend a little extra time here while we explain stuff. Oh, no. A meltdown occurred. Nothing. Oh, no. Zero meltdowns. What are we going to do? So sometimes that alarm's going to sound and it's going to be fine. So our job yeah, until is... Until we get to day 21, this alarm is basically going to be fucking nothing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it will mean nothing. Somewhere down here in the pits of the darkness below the control team here, there's problems. But we don't know or care about those because we haven't dug deep enough into the earth to get there. So there's just distant alarms sometimes. So 
Our goal each day is working with these uh, various guys, the abnormalities, to gain enough boxes here up in the corner to complete the workday. We gain them through the work results. Now, e there's four types of work we can do with each of these guys. There's, uh, again, there's work for each of these stat categories here. We realize you can't see our mouse as we're going around here. Uh, so there's... We're going to go ahead and uh, cancel okay, that for a moment. The, yeah. yeah, so we got instinct, insight, instinct with... attachment, and repression. Yeah, instinct is a uh, physical work, so like giving food, giving head pads to the abnormality. Mm -hmm. uh, insight work is uh, environmental work, so like cleaning the room, ref mm -hmm. refilling water and all that. Yeah. Attachment work is uh, social work, so like just talking to them, having a little tea party, whatever. And repression work is uh, denial, which is which uh, usually involves uh, violence. It's being like, rude as hell it, it to them. Beat you, beat you up, so you don't you don't want to escape mm -hmm. and get beaten up even even yeah. worse. Yeah. Blank, you could give head to any abnormality if you're not a coward. Anyways, uh, they so can give you head back sometimes. This is true. Now, so each of the employees has a stat in that regard. We're aiming to increase it at through various work types. Now, the goal of this game is about finding out what various abnorm what kind of uh the various abnormalities, what they like and don't like to do. And that's where a lot of the game comes in, is figuring out each of the abnormalities and learning more about them. You unlock their various bits of lore, story, you get equipment from them, and all that sort of stuff. One Sin in Hundreds of Good Deeds is basically the, is the nice starter one to get used to it. Uh, we're going to be racing through a lot of these because, you know, again, we've done them before. So uh, this is going to be a fast one. Again, we're just jamming up here to all of the, try and get some stats. All of the abnormalities that we already researched on our first run, we're not going to have to go around and research. We can just open mm -hmm. their, uh, their, 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 their like menu and we can already see what they like, what they don't like, what, they, yeah. what their gimmicks are. Yeah, we have a lot of information. on. I do believe, at the very least, that every single abnormality that we uh, did have over the course of it, we did fully research. I think so. Maybe We're during the really sure. question you fixed a cop, you avoided researching a couple, maybe? I think there might be one or two we didn't see, and that's the thing. Nami that's did fair. not get retconned, no. Nami's still here. So yeah, that said, we are just going ahead and... Uh, so yeah, this is going to be a slow game for a little bit here while we cat try and catch back up. We're going to try and get as much progress done in regards to catching up again as we can i think he probably has their repression maxed right now yeah we're just double checking uh 67 drag and drop around yeah no never mind i mean you can probably move on today to and grind on two things at once yeah no that's gonna be more effective and efficient workday complete Yui's now up to there Justice 5 at 83. That's good. We'll get the other stats up tomorrow. So, we did good. A lot of this stream is going to be us quickly doing these days. Our favorite abnormality. Oh, that's a good question because we do love some of them. Um, And also because it's been a hot minute, so some of their names have slipped our mind. <sighs> what is this? Well, can you give a little description? Oh, yeah, we can definitely give a little description. Some of our favorites, just knocking them down the, down the list here. One, just for the fun of... Just because a lot of the more creative and fun ones. So, again, we love things like... We love the orchestra. Really? It, we love... An, an unusual pick. We didn't say it's our favorite, but just that we do love the orchestra. It's a fun one. Same with the singing I mean, machine. Yeah. It's They're fun and unique and inventive. They're, they're a joy. Art. If we had to choose a favorite abnormality... <sighs> now, there's a lot of stereotypical answers one could give that we think really stand out. And again, uh -huh. we don't think any of them are wrong. Psycho, you already know the answer to what our favorite abnormality is. It's the motherfucking train. It's the funniest abnormality in the fucking game. It's incredibly funny. Problem. 
you, you, we the, the free of fucking... normality you mentioned, people kind of tend to like hate, you know? No, we fucking love them. They're so good. All right. And again, we don't care what other people think. But listen, Express okay. Ticket to Hell is the funniest abnormality in the game. That's fine. Due to the gimmick, exactly. Yeah, we had Mountain and Train at the same time, and it was so fucking funny. It was the funniest shit in the world to us. Yeah, it was really funny, because uh, Grief didn't didn't realize the, the, the train was happening. Uh, because they, they were sending someone when the, the ooh, light was full, ooh, but ooh. They, were, they were too slow, right? Yeah. So we have Punishing so Bird, of course. So, so, so the, the train always, like, showed up, but for, like, five times, four times? The, the train happened, but you don't hit anyone? So they never realized we didn't pick happening. up what was happening because it never hit any of our employees until the fifth train and then it hit one employee and we went hey what the hell what just happened there and then and then we scrolled up and there was like bodies S everywhere. there were so many dead em dead clerks everywhere because they all got smoked by the train but we didn't notice because we were working down in central also Normally, when we've done when we did this last time, what we would do is we put up a poll every single time. However, because we've encountered so many of these before, we're actually just, we're not going to do the polls until we catch back up to where we were, or if we have multiple choices. Uh, that said, we have one brand new one we've never seen, or perhaps we saw it but we don't remember. Either way, we don't have the codex info for it. Yeah, do you, we we appreciate people in chat being excited about Project Moon Games and about Lobotomy Corporation. Do please try to avoid spoilers just in case, because there's a chance we don't know. We're only yeah. we've only seen like half of the abnormalities. We don't know the other half of them. You you usually in games you don't really want to ask, uh, "Hey, did you find this?" Because yeah, if we haven't found now, it, you kind of spoil it. But since the game has code names. You can ask using that. Hey, did you find F two forty four? Yeah. No, now, we did not. No, that's we okay. Now, now here's the thing. Here's the thing. No, we. You're all good. You're all good, Wise Desi. You're all good. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. It's I'm all good. Making we just made that clear. You know? Now that said, we've encountered Burrowing Heaven, haven't we? We thought we did Burrowing Heaven. I think you did. I'm just like yeah, doing Burrowing Heaven. Well. Yeah, no, totally fair. Burrowing Heaven was like that weird, goopy orb one, right? That had like a bunch of holes in it. Uh no, or, no, you're thinking of uh, the naked nest. We're thinking of the naked nest. Send us a pic, Psycho. Can you send us a picture in stream chat of what the hell burrowing heaven is? Because we definitely know the yeah. name. We've Hold seen on. it before. We've done burrowing heaven. We just can't remember which one it is. And then we'll give you our input. It's the tendon tree. Ah, uh, we'll once we have it, our memory should. That's very familiar to us, Nami. That sounds so familiar, but... Ugh. Yes. That guy. That guy. We don't remember that guy's gimmick, but it was fun. We liked that guy. Do you want a reminder on the gimmick? Yeah, 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 because we've seen this one. Remind us of what the gimmick was for. Okay, if you don't look at it while it's being worked on, it's going to teleport and kill someone out of you. Ah, right. Yeah, yeah, it's gimmick, because it was kind of the opposite thing of, uh, of Schadenfried. Yeah, yeah, yeah they were got, a cool pair! Like... We had, like, mm -hmm. both of them at the same time. It was so fucking good. Yeah, no, we love yeah. Burrowing. Burrowing Heaven's great. We love the weird good. gimmicks. We... Mm -hmm. Yeah, we fucking love the gimmicks and the, and the weird ones, as, again, from a game design perspective. Uh, if we had to choose just from a, like, look perspective, uh, honestly, that's a really hard one to say, but, like, we were really drawn to, like, uh, was it the Night of Sorrow? The Night of Despair. You're the Night close. of Despair, yes. We, we had a synonym. That's a, that's a good choice. Yeah. And, yeah, no, we love the, just so, visually, the Night of Despair is so good. So many of them are so good visually. Anyways, we're going to grab this new one, F0244. However, the curse continues eternally, never broken. A brand new friend 
Yay, we didn't. I we, love curses. We're not gonna lie. We didn't expect actually to get someone brand new on day two. We expected it would take us a little bit to see a new face. Oh no! Like, you, if you, at the start you're going to find a lot of Zagin and Tevs that you didn't get before. Nice. And later you're going to get some Wows and all that you didn't get before. That's exciting. Oh, by the way, you already you already uh, talked to Angela. You can skip it if you if, if you don't really care. Oh yeah, no, we can we can skip it. But one, it's been a hot minute, so we don't mind reading the dialogue to refresh what? it. And two, I'm guessing. you know, it feels it feels right for us to read it again since we're starting again. The people might be joining us for the first time, so yeah. we're just so you know, you're not you're not going to get uh, the Sephira dialogue because you only already did the missions, and uh, that's fair. The, that's the, fair. The talk about the talk with the Sephira only happen when you when you get the mission. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, and, I, and ask me if you want me to voice anything, okay? Yeah, no, totally fair. Uh, hi, Caden. Welcome. Hi. Hi. Face the fear, build the future. That is the motto of our founder, the one whom we refer to as A. Tell me, if you had to choose one, what part of the motto do you prefer? I like building the future, personally. The future is inevitable, but ever undecided. One may simply lie atop the sand of the future, or they may shape it with purpose. Lobotomy Corporation is an innovative company. The harvesting technologies we have discovered are such a... Please excuse my lack of vocabulary. Howdy, Cybermoth. Happy to have you here. This is not our first rodeo. Uh, however, we never beat the game. We made it to day 30, and there was a terrible accident involving the Phoenix and some poorly made decisions made in a, hay in a, in a rash rush. So we're starting again because now we... Because we no longer had the tools to continue, basically. Going back to day one from day 30-something. It was like day 30, yeah. Oh boy, well, all the best to you. You're hoping things work out for you, Sour Moth. Ooh. Totally fair. Totally fair. Well, good luck on the Kaiser mod. It's, it's, a, it's a fun ride. Hell yeah. It's simply remarkable. These technologies could be the salvation of mankind. With these, we will mold the future, creating brand new paths. Alright, so yeah, again, because it's not our first rodeo, good day, manager. Would you like to expand the control department? We're not going to get the stories of the uh, Sephira for these first four. We're not going to get those again. And we're probably not going to get most of the story for the Central Command team again either. So we get boxes. You'll get to meet the anime characters again later. I think you're going to be an anime and still a boxes at the same time. That's okay. That's valid. Yeah, it's totally fine. Oh, right. It's, te it. it's teaching us about the uh, Sephra core suppression. Yeah, because it's not memory repo day. Yeah. Conditions not met. Alright, so let's go ahead and get our boy Daniel in there. Get another one, then we can get more stats going. Now... Uh, yeah, we grabbed a... Psycho here, our good friend, compiled us a little mod pack to not only give us some quality of life stuff, but also to uh, add some fun stuff back into the game that was removed and add some other stuff. Yeah, it's also uh, there's a lot in here. A lot of it is uh... might be surprises to us. We have a vague gist of what each of the mods does, but in some cases we don't know quite what's there. So again, this run, back through, might be slightly different than uh, than it was the first time through. Uh, now it's funny that we're actually we've managed to put in the uh, three employees who managed to keep any level of gear because we had spares of only their gear. We had no other spares of any of the other gear <laughs> that was left behind. That said, we don't need the gear yet, so it's fine. Alright, let's just go ahead and hop in and see what new friend awaits us.
So, of course, we have One Sin and Hundreds of Good Deeds, the classic starter, and... Well, hello, Sugar Slasher. Welcome. This is a beast and a bug. This is a bug. This is a bug. Of some sort. With some very nice... Uh, funny bug. That's a funny bug that looks like it's got some... Well, it's got a bunch of eyes going on there, but it looks like it's got some sort of flowers going on those horns. Very nice. That's a fella. Uh -huh. That's a fella right there. All right, so... I think, I think the gift this one gives is kind of pretty. Fair. Fair. It seems like it might be tragically beautiful. Now, we did forget our golden rule, which is, of course... Whenever we meet a new abnormality, we would send oh. we would normally send Summer in. However, we get the feeling this one is a Zayn on the same level here as one Sin. So odds are good it wouldn't instantly kill Summer by any means. And even worse, Summer might have the means to gain something from it. That's scary. Some sort of we skill. That. Yeah, that's terrifying as a prospect for bastard intern Summer. So instead, we're sending Daniel. Who is fine if he gets things from it because Daniel is a respected employee. So, damn Daniel. Damn Daniel. Go take a look at that guy. Go take a look at that bug. We'll go to two uh, two times speed. Bug. It repeatedly tries do you to. Have any, do you have any reason for doing insight work here? Or did you just run a minute? We chose insight, honestly. We had We had a small thought about it, and it was just looking at it. The visual design of it is very unique and interesting, and the sheer amount of eyes upon it, that led us to maybe looking into insight sort of thing. But it hated that. Damn, Daniel. Okay. Back at it again. So, we're going to try attachment. It. We did see the dialogue box that said it was so horrified by, it, by its grotesque appearance it repeatedly tried to kill itself. So, that tells us insight is bad. Attachment might also be bad. Damn, I think I have the abnormality this for you. Mm -hmm. So, in we go again. Off you go, Daniel. Yeah, exactly the exactly the thought process, wise, De wise Desi. You need to do insight. You see it. That is another form of joy brought by birth. Oh, it hates the emotional connection bit even more than insight. Oh, it hates it. Oh, it hates it so... Damn. All right. So, let's go ahead and buy percussion. Just the one. Eh, 64%. That's not bad. All right, we'll try that then. Yeah, that's it. Good. No, it seems like it wants... This makes sense based on what it said, is that it wants us to... Oh. All right, then we can stick with Wise. Is that... Are we pronouncing that correct, by the way? Wise? Let us know if we're wrong and we'll try and pronounce it right. We always like to be considerate to the people in chat. Okay, it likes to when we repress it and be mean to it and bully it. Okay, we're gonna stick with wise then, because that feels fun on the that feels fun on the tongue, as it were. It's a fun word. It's good. Basic info, what's the name? Beauty and the Beast. Ooh. Oh yeah, the F, because the F means it comes from a fable of some sort, we do believe. Yeah, you know yeah. that one. Yeah, we know that one. We've heard that story. Oh, yeah, I don't like instinct. It don't like instinct unless we're really bad at it. Interesting. All right. All right. All right, Danny boy. Actually, who's got the worst? Delaney! You're going to get on in there and do some repression training with it. Get on in there. We're going to... We like to go slow at first when we're learning about a... When we're first learning about a abnormality, we like to take it slow. We don't speed it up sort of thing till we get through all the boxes and stuff. Just because we like to learn a little bit about it, you know? Figure it out. Yeah, that's okay. You should take it slow because if you don't, this happens. The lady just died. Let's buy, let's buy some manager guidelines, shall we? Oh! Hmm. 
More yeah. like dead laney. Okay, so uh, if we repeatedly farm repression work, it doesn't like that. Okay. Well. Let's retry the day, shall we? Now that we've learned that. So we could have killed now some. We have to we sh you, sure, you sure could have. Damn it all. We weren't... Huh. See, this is what we get. This is what happens to us when we think that we know what's best that's going on, and this is why we're a bad manager because we could have killed. We could have killed bastard intern Summer with that, but we went. No, no, we can't risk bastard intern Summer learning anything. Fuck no, you. Because I'm like maybe once in. I'm pretty sure you can't get yourself killed on anything, even as Aegon. That is fair. We blame bastard intern Summer for this. We think this is this is Bastard Intern Summer's fault. As begin. it always is. As it always is. Let's begin again. Okay, so we're gonna start. Blaney's gonna hit that repression one. Okay, so yeah, when it says it's health, it means the counter up there probably. Yeah, it's it's the counter, but also if you if you work repression on it, mm -hmm. you can see. Uh, I mean, look 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 at it. Zoom out a little bit on it. Yeah, it looks fine. Okay. Now it's limping. Ooh. So you can see when uh, when you when its health is damaged. Okay. Uh, we want the abnormality. Uh... You've got an agent design. If you've got an agent design, absolutely. Feel free. We will. We are happy to hire any willing employees. If you've got an agent design out for yourself. Go ahead. Absolutely. Oh, thank you for the follow, Cybermoth. You have been spotted. Good luck. All right. We'll 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 hire you tomorrow, then. We'll do that. Okay. So then, we don't want to try doing it twice in a row. So we're going to have Delaney also work Fortitude on it. A.K.A. Instinct. And we're going to get... Of course. Listen, any willing employees is good. And also the ability, again, letting us train up more people as we go through this again is not a bad idea. Because then, one, we have more staff ready to go in case of unfortunate incidents. But also, it doesn't mean we're just racing through it with all our top-level staff already and just going blah, 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 gun it through. And that's more fun. The more you train, the less likely you're, you're going to to get an incident again exactly and if we do have an incident again then we'll have the bodies to throw at it yeah if you're unfamiliar with the game uh psycho did post a link to a uh pit crew you could use to build up a character all right yeah okay so now we're going to go ahead and buy this so that we can see ideally Oh, the Clyfoth counter. Okay, it doesn't have a Clyfoth counter. It doesn't escape. It just kills. Uh, how should you share the result? Um, You can post it on the Discord if you're here. Yeah, if you hit exclamation point Discord, what we are going to do real quick is we're going to just go ahead and open a new channel titled... The Funny P Crew. Nope. All right. So yeah, if you join our Discord, hop on in, you will see in the front of house section, you will see a thing titled Potential Employees. Go ahead and drop the pit crew right in there for us. And we will use that to determine our future staff. Alrighty. Okay, so now we've got a grasp on what we're doing here. All right, so we're going to go ahead and speed it up a bit here. Don't mind those distant alarm sirens. We don't know where they go. We don't know where they're coming from. They're deep within the earth, and they kind of scare us a little bit, so we're just not going to worry about those distant alarms. I pinned as a, as a funny name. We appreciate that. That's a good way to do it. All right. 
Oh, we are going ahead and 16. Ooh, that's a cool looking little thing. Oh, you're a Teth. You're not even a Zayn. Interesting. Yeah. Ooh, what do you ooh. think about the gift? I think it's cute. I think that uh, it, it grows in the head. That is a cute little hat. That's a cute little go. Oh, look, Delaney has it already. Good Delaney. Good for Delaney. Nice. All right, now we'll just have to see what it does. Uh, no, we have not met every no. single abnormality. We've only, uh, before we started the stream, we opened the codex to check. I believe it was 59%. We've seen just over half of them. So there's uh, a lot we haven't seen. If you want to talk about something, if uh, you know, otherwise, uh, just like, yeah. don't, you know? Yeah, all we know, we'll, we'll uh, outline exactly how far we know in the game. Yeah. We saw up to day 30. We know the first four suppression, like core suppressions. We did those. Uh, for the moment, well, we saw we a couple spread. Alephs. Oh, we did some Not Alephs, all of them, all right. I don't think. Not all of them, but we did do some Alephs. So, yeah. Thank we're you. we're trusting our good companion, Psycho, here, who is, uh, again, a pal, who knows the game, who bought us the game in the first place and knows the game a shit ton better than we do, to, uh, Quickly shoot any issues in chat if if it's decided you've gone too far. But again, we trust y'all. We got faith. Y'all y'all know What's where to draw that? the line. People if have been press, very very good about if, it. If you press uh, eight on the keyboard, uh, you can get execution bullet, and I have that. Uh, but for chat, okay? Yeah. Ah, good. You've reminded us about our execution bullets. We love those. They're fun. Yeah. All right. Are you having? Someone, you, you could have someone work on one scene while ah, the yeah. is happening, by ah. the way, just like random ah. stats. Ah, yeah, you're totally forget You're totally right. We forgot. All right, let me see here. Okay. Who needs some real stack grinding right about now? Uh, the ladies, the lady is getting the stack grinding in right now with the Zane, so we're good on that one. Um, Loki does need the temperance work. Ah, uh, Daniel's kind of weak across the board. Uh, we've got a fairly good idea how the leveling uh, mechanics work in this game. We've got a fairly good idea at this point. Alright, Daniel, go ahead and farm some repression work over there with one sin. And we have ourselves a final observation. Now, this is one of the bots that added these back into the game. So we're going to go ahead and conduct the final observation of Beauty and the Beast. You want me to voice that? You know what? Yeah, if you want to, go right ahead. What's the tell us what's about here and there? This is a good lot of employees. I hear the beast roaring. He wants to die. Or is the real death? That's all sorry for James of the Monsters. A few times it's trying to win its life. Kill me, stab me with the knife you have. The monster can't talk, however. The soul trapped in it can. Are you not helping me when you can hear me? The monster has. Reproachfully. Because this problem can't be solved with death, or because I don't have a knife. Uh, because I don't have a knife. You're lying. You know you can pull out that knife from your pocket whenever you want. Shit, you're right. Loud Sorry. Correct uh, yeah, no, that makes perfect sense. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. Get in there, Delaney. I mean, technically, it's not a knife. Just saying. Just saying. Just saying. All right, how much do these cost? Okay, yeah, they're really cheap, so that makes sense. That alarm can stop going off any time now. Do you have someone with uh, a white weapon in case someone goes insane from uh, work? Uh, red, red. Red, red. No. Ever. Probably bring one tomorrow. Yeah, probably. But for the moment, things are fine. So 
That's a tomorrow problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like be careful when you're doing instinct because it's a zero percent. Yeah, fair, fair. All right, time to start crafting. Here. Do insight instead. It's not that much better, but it's not zero percent. That's fair. The reason we keep doing insight is honestly okay. Yeah, no, it's worthless to keep doing that just because Delaney's not getting anything from it we're pretty sure yeah no not yeah zero percent okay okay yeah no fair enough fair enough all right yeah they can't be mad if they're uh bludgeoned to death you make a very good point all right See, so yeah, we're just going to keep going for a while here grinding this out till we can get all the weapons and everything manufactured which won't take us very long. Uh, nope. And then from there, we will go ahead and uh, carry on to day three. So we can grind more things at once. Alright. Chat, do you think we're going to get something new tomorrow? We hope so. We would like to get something new tomorrow. We would like to get something new every day. That would be fun and exciting, but we know we can't do that forever. Odds are good we will eventually hit a wall where we will hit choices where it's like we've seen all of these, so it's just about what's the best thing to put in there. And with that, there you go. The day is done. Delaney got a good stat boost up there. It was 61 and 56. Not bad, not bad. Daniel cranking it up to 85 justice. Not bad at all. Yeah. yeah. It's not a very convenient one, but it's a justice trainer. Yeah, we love to have those. We love to have those. All right. We reach day three. All right, we've got Fragment of the Universe, Fairy Festival, and uh, Popote. Uh, now, we had Popote before, but we don't recall getting all of the stuff done on Popote. We actually don't. We only had Popote for a little bit. Yeah, no, no, because Popote only showed up in our first run-through, that terrible one where we took no instruction from you whatsoever and died within six days. Is that so? That's, I don't remember that, but okay. That is when Popote showed up, and then never again. So, we're going with Popote. Alright. That's that's Puppy. That's Buppy. We're bringing Buppy. That's Doggy. Mm. Greetings, manager. It marks three days now that you have worked here. The number three is a mysterious one. In age-old fables, it is common for a mysterious entity to appear and tell the protagonist to utter three wishes. Yeah, we know that, Weiss, and it's so good. Puppy. It's so good. We love Patreon creations. It's such a good thing. Sadly, I am not a mage or billionaire that can grant your wishes. However, I do happen to know what your predecessors wished for. There were many aspirations. Common among them was the seeking of some kind of growth. Hello, Not Velocities. Yes, the grind is real. We're back in day three now. We're going again. We're grinding here. We're, yep. Our goal is to actually be Hello. in this time. Hello? Hi. Hello? You good? Uh, hello, I was saying that to the chat time. Oh, okay. Sorry, the mic got a little grindy there for a second. We didn't hear what you said. Okay. Common among them was the seeking of some kind of growth to lead the company to prosperity, to achieve spiritual maturity, you name it. Each had wanted to flower in a different way. Which of those two would you want? Listen, we're familiar enough with this company, we don't want this shit to prosper. We want to mature our spirit. Come to think of it, there was another manager who gave me such an answer. As you know, spiritual is a rather obsolete term in today's world. So I asked them for the definition of spirit. 
than that manager told me. Well, I unfortunately do not recall the details of that conversation. Even an AI cannot store every bit of data. Unnecessary information should be deleted for smooth operation. So, you may be asking yourself if your predecessors managed to fulfill their wish. Hmm. I suppose what happened to the others is not important, after all. I do promise to cheer you on for the journey to your final goal, though. Good day, Malkith Box. Welcome, and hello once again. All right. Now, we do believe we've got some employees here looking to uh, send in their applications. So let's go ahead oh, and grab right. those. Yeah, and uh, don't remember the one that um, Cybermoss sent in chat? Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so we're scrolling back up to get that. There it is. Yeah, we didn't complete Popote. There we are. Uh, no, we've got the numbers, uh, Cybermoth. Don't worry, we've got them. So, yeah, we're going to finish up Popote. Sweet little puppy. All right. So, let's go ahead and hire ourselves some new employees. All right. So, first things first. Cybermoth. Howdy, Meat Man. Uh, we're on day three again of our re-exploration of Lobotomy Corporation. You missed us meeting Beauty and the Beast, which is a weird thing. You'll see it. Don't worry about that. All right, so. Uh, oh my god, there are so many now. Holy shit. We forgot that you added those in. Yeah. We were not prepared to be hit with uh, a quick notice of, by the way, there are 94 hairstyles, suddenly. Sorry. No, it's good. It's fun. All right. Well, and there's also, like, eyes and shit. Mm -hmm. Especially the panic eyes are really cool. I think you're going to like them. All right. Yeah, me. Yeah, we can make proper Ume. It did indeed. Yeah, don't worry. We're diving in here. All right. Oh, panic eyes one. Dead eyes one. The regular browns regular eleven. Compact zero. Panic six. Do we have a smiling shark mouth? That's a good question. Let's find out. Uh, probably. I'm not uh, sure. Uh, does not seem so. Or rather... Yeah, no, it's a cool vibe. We like this game, Sugar Slasher. We enjoy it. The, ca the game is very vibe. If you can deal with the gameplay, it's, the gameplay is not for everyone. That's something. Mm -hmm. Even me, it right. has like 500 hours. Actually, let me check. 304 hours in the game. Uh, you, got, you gotta recognize the, the vibes are pristine. The gameplay, uh, it, it's, it's the first game made by like five people. It's not perfect gameplay wise. Mm -hmm. All right, how's that looking up there, Cyber Moth? And Dick Beak up there at the top. We don't know how we can zoom in in OBS. We should have a tool for that, but we don't know how. Looks perfect. All right, welcome to the team. All right, we're actually going to swap out some of our employees then, Loki, because the stat. Step blocks looking fine for Loki. We'll train Loki later. All right. Now we've got two other new hires coming in here. So let's go ahead and get those placed in. All right. 
All right. That looks like the one. Alright. Alright, we're working on yours right now, Weiss, so if you have any co uh, commentary to throw at us while we uh, put this one together, feel free. Just do something close enough? Alrighty then. We can aim for close enough. And I believe... Not that one. That one, I believe, was the close enough one. Hey, we recognize that hairstyle. Alright. You think? We think that looks right. Eighty-seven different eyes. Holy shit! Shade of blue? Sure. A little bit more like that, then. No worries. Ah, yes, we have clearly hit the additional ones. All right, and there we are. We can recustomize them later if needed. All right, and one last, well, two last ones. All right. All right, we will take a sip of water here. Ah. All right. I'll train, train Daniel up later. All right, I believe we got some more higher. All right.
All right, and Sugar, let us know if at any point there's any details we need to change. Did you check out the new Panikais? Uh, no, we have not checked them out yet. Okay. We're checking them out now. Anime. I saw the... Retrochrome eyes, and that, that reminded me of that. Fair. Ooh, these are some these are very good ones they've added in here. Interesting. So P crew is made after the game, so you should be able to get something pretty damn close. Yeah, we've been able to get pretty close so far on all of them. Yeah. Alright. And that's about as close as we can get because we can't change the eye color or anything. Welcome to the team. And, ah, yes, we see one more in here. Alright. Finally, a peaceful place to work in the city. Alright. Happy to have you on the team. Alright, one more. Our last two points for hiring right now. Alright. Oh, wait, actually, now we've turned streamer mode back on. Or back off, rather. We have to turn that back on to get rid of the Discord dings. Okay. There we go. Just because it hides oh, the... the, 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 the the modded airs and eyes and smiles and whatever. It's just uh, the Sephira of Lobotomy and the Sinners of Limbus. If you want to uh, steal their, 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 their drip, their hairstyle, their eyes, you can do that. Yeah. All right. This might be it for new hires today then. Because we realized the last one posted in the chat was uh, Cybermoss, who we did make. So, all right. I I think that means we are caught up there at the moment. Oh, we are seeing typing in there, but we can hire anyone else tomorrow once we get some more points as well. All right, let's get in there and learn about Pote. Yeah, puppy. Puppy. Yay. We're so excited. There is a dog in your pit cage. We have the doggy. And taking so cute. Ooh. It's adorable. Alright, so cute. Alright, we just got that last bit and then the gears to get. Alright. TV fluffy and high resolution. Alright, we're gonna quickly do Beauty and the Beast again. Start the day off with this. We're gonna skip all the dialogue this time. Because this problem can't be solved with death. That's not important. Every single second is agony for me. Death is a prize compared to this endless pain. You are right. It is your job to solve this, not death's. Child, would you make a promise? Would you free me from this cycle when you are ready? I'll make a promise. Then I will continue waiting for my death here. The beast roars and starts pounding its head into the wall. Final observation complete. Nice. All right. Yay. Yay. All right. So, uh, look at our fresh-faced recruits down here. 
They all have the title of senior, but, you know, that's not true. All right. So. I mean, you, we got you a team captain. All right. On you go down there. Let's see what we got. Let's raise some stats on. All right. All right. Let's kick the speed up here a notch. Oh, climb off counter two. All right. The final observation ready. Capote is loved by almost everyone. It seems that no one can resist feeling like a king after a single greeting given by Capote. But you know what this puppy looks like. Recall its true parents or stroke its hair. Stroke its hair. Well, I don't know if he did it for no reason. No matter how hard I think about it. The fault must be with the employees, not Capote. We should call in employees who have neglected Capote's management and conduct special training. That's what you think, and take out the camera in your pocket. Good. Good. Normal dog. Normal dog. And we're just doing a bad job over here with Beauty and the Beast repeatedly, but that's okay, because it means we don't have to worry about it. Alright, so we're just farming up enough boxes to quickly finish Capote here, and then we are good to move on to the next day. Did you bring a white, a white wrapper? Nope. Did you forget? We forgot entirely. Okay. Whoopsies. But we got faith in the crew. All right. Uh, is it a mod that allows us to do the uh, repeat the shift click to tasks? Yeah, that's a work macro. Yeah, it's, yes. Uh, it's useful well for granting. Yeah, it's a neat little mod. Alright, and with that, Vode is also complete. Alright, we're just going to let this run for a minute longer, just to get a little more training in, and then we are going to go to the next day. Like we said, these early days are going to go quickly. They're going to go fast as hell as we race to catch back up to where we were. And on our way back up this time to where we were, we are going to be stopping once again in that specific stretch of days to grind out the Central Command unit. Just to get any spare uh, gear we might have missed or... Uh, Reacquire some gear along the way. You know, the good stuff. Yeah. Alright. Alright, that's enough of that. Alright. Wise Fortitude to 90. Uh, you is uh, Prudence to 98. Delaney Fortitude to 79. Good stuff. Good stuff. The next day. Oh, you got the gift, did you? Ooh, we'll have to click and see. Yeah. Nice. And on it's day, it's day four, which means uh, you get a tool. Yay! And a brand new one! Do you remember this melody? The professor used to play this song when the students were sleepy. Happy birthday. All right. Happy birthday, Grief. Oh, boy. As soon as death is no longer a tragedy for us, our promise with Beauty and the Beast will be kept. Final observation, Beauty and the Beast achieved. Judging from the circumstances, the Papode fantasy can brainwash people. Please, keep this in mind and pay attention from now on. Are you still looking at the pictures? Final observation, Papode achieved. Do you take pride in what you do here? If not, this recent news will likely change your mind. After your arrival, the rate of energy output has increased, increased 
by 13%. If you still don't feel the significance of this figure, then let me add that it's a record-breaking percentage. How do you feel? Woo! Yeah, baby! I can take pride in that! Ever since you began working here, the company has been taking strides in improvement. This means you are performing your role well. This shows that there should only be good news to come. A machine such as myself doesn't flatter easily. It is good to know that you are happy with your work. I remember your face the very first time you came in here, approximately 45 minutes ago. You were so withdrawn. Face all grey and grim. And you were all nervous about my presence. Don't worry, it's okay for you to be happy now. Today is a rather special day. Do you see that bottle of champagne on the table? Allow me to pour you a glass. Shall we toast? Ah, today's occasion is not something as monumental as someone's birthday or the company's day of founding. You lost an employee for the first time yesterday. Oh. In fact, many more shall follow. I'm telling you this just in case you were unexpectedly shocked by the news. They had known the risks from the beginning. The company grows, fertilized by their sacrifices. It's as simple as that. It's just a little death, you get over it. It'll get better, it's fine, it's whatever. I am sure they would have felt proud of themselves as they took their final breath. Accepting their deaths with equanimity would be the greatest respect you can pay to them. That's why I popped this bottle of champagne I've kept for so long. Three cheers for the deceased in memoriam of their noble sacrifices. I'll drink the champagne. Allow me to give you a small bit of advice. To properly drink a glass of champagne, one should gently hold the lower stem of the glass and then take it in lightly, savoring the bubbles. Just like that. I love late stage capitalism. Woo! Late stage capitalism, baby. All right, now we do have a new recruit, Phoenix, down there in the potential employees catalog. So we're going to go ahead and get another employee hired on in. All right. First things first, we're going to change his hair color to roughly where it should be. I think that's about there. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and get to customize him. Fair enough. All right.
All right. Perfect. New recruit. And now let's go ahead and open the ego list up and let's see about equipping some of these folks, shall we? There's the Feather of Honor that uh, took us everyone to get. Son of a bitch. Alright. So we do still have some gear. Now, you may note, there is a special point we want to make clear here as well. You will note we have Mimicry still here as the Aleph gear. Uh, no, it wasn't worth it at all, wise. It was terrible. It was a terrible idea. Yeah, unfortunately, the Mimicry Ego for Ume did explode, because Ume has a special one as a custom costume. However, however, you'll note, we still have Mimicry here. We're not using it, because it's only fair, because you can only get one of Mimicry. You can only have one at a time. However, due to the special conditions, we were to uh, get the special costume in, it gave us two uses of mimicry. So in the interest of fairness, we're not using this one. We will use mimicry again for Ume if we get access to nothing there again. I believe it was nothing there that gave us this one. Yeah, this is nothing there. Yeah. And then gain the points required to theoretically build it again. Then we will use... Then we will... Once we have done that, we will re-add in the special Ume costume. In the interest of fairness, this is a rule that affects no one but us, really, and Ume. But, so it goes. That's, we just want to make it clear for anyone who's joining us now and did not see our previous streams why we are we have this sitting here and we're not touching it. Just so everyone knows what's, what the score is. Alright, let's go ahead and armor up these recruits. Oh. Consent into FO-137's containment. The suit will warm the agent up to the point of burning to death. Due to how cold the room is. Alright, so that's a very specific one. Yeah. Do you remember who that is? F0137? That's, uh -huh. that's the Ice Queen, isn't it? Yep. Ah, okay, so if we see the Ice Queen, anyone wearing the Feather of Honor cannot enter. Alright. Yep. Perfect. Cool. Alright, well, Yui's serving as the captain. Should get some better armor. Damn. Instead of the Shonen Fruit armor. Let's give you something good. You know what? We have faith in you. You can wear that. Also, did the Feather of Armor armor suit actually exist before? Or did the mod add it back in? The mod. The, the, the armor suit? You, can, you already had the. the we already armor. had it. Okay. We forgot about it entirely. Okay. In turn, yes. weak bundle. The okay. When you do the Phoenix, you can get. Uh, yes, you, you can. Use the armor. You, but, but you have to kill it to get uh, the, the, the weapon. Yes, okay. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and complete the set here on uh, on a UE here, just because, hey, you're the captain. You can have the white damage sword. That's fine. This is fine. Oh, you got the little flower. Very nice. All right. And there is special ego gifts that are locked in for certain people. All right. So that's easy. Let's get you some armor, shall we? Weak. Ah, we missed some of our cool armor sets. We missed them. Unless we have some of the armor suits listed in here. Okay, yeah, we do not have the Justicia armor set yet. So we're going to stick with Spore for now. Alright. 
Oh, that's a handy one to have. The invisible hammers. That's a good one. Love to be a white damage round. You know what? We've just noticed as well. We'll just go ahead and complete the set then. You can have the spore set. Support roll. Because that's actually a very handy little detail to have where it takes more a target takes bonus white damage on a 25% chance. That's a good rule, rule to have. Ah, oh, the ears are good on Weiss there. They're good. Perfect. Alright. HP plus four, success rate minus two, work speed minus two. That's okay. That's fine. Alright. Now let's see what we got here. We're gonna need some ranged weaponries. Ready to go here. Ah, uh, Winston's still equipped with the cannon, of course. Good, good. Excellent, excellent. Alright. Because there's a rifle that got us killed. We don't have it anymore, thankfully, because it's gone now. But that is part of why we died, was, a rifle, was the specific rifle. We remember that. It was a hell of a thing. Yeah, it's so fucking good that Gam Gam's reward is just... Here's a fucking revolver. Here you fucking go. Yeah. <laughs> Here's Granny's 357. Here you go. Go make... Oh, do I try him? Go have fun, all right, now. Don't get in too much trouble. Ha <laughs> ha. Gam Gam's having a good time. Oh, 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 oh. oh, what delightful fun. Why, we would always, we used to all the time scour the neighborhood and we would go ahead and we would just, uh, oh, we'd fire at the passing cars. Oh, it was, what fun. What fun it was. And we do have the do not have the night of despair's armor anymore. Sad. Sad. But so it goes. It was a gift from grandma. Alright. All right. God, unfortunately, yeah, some of our best armor sets are gone, and including some ones chosen in here that we loved. Ah, oh, so sad. So sad. It'll be fine. Oh, yeah, no, we'll get it all back. Don't worry. We're going to get it all back. All right, yeah, we need some ranged weaponry. That's what we need right now is some ranged shots. I mean, you've got Letitia guns. That's a really fucking good gun. Yeah, we do have Letitia. Very true. Sad. Yeah, no, the Magical Girl outfit you chose there, Sugar Slasher, we had that before. It was great. We've actually, I think, had every single one of these, except maybe, uh... Except, I think, the one Phoenix chose in the chat there. But, uh, otherwise, we did have all of those. And they were very fond of them. The Magical Girl one's really fun, and if we can get it, oh, it's gonna be, a, it might be a struggle for us to get that again, but I doubt it. We get it again. It's, it's, a, it's a fun one to get. It's, it's a fun one. Magical Girl can, uh, can do damage of, like, any type, and also heal your friends. Mm-hmm. Alright. Phoenix can also have this, have the fucking rifle. Again, there is one specific rifle that if it comes back up again, we will get it, but we will probably not give it to anyone again. Because that caused us problems. Alright, the crew's geared up now. We'll gear up everyone else as the time comes. Also, Nami, at some point, if you want to, like, message us on Discord or whatever to send the uh, true version of Ume that you want updated, uh, let us know and we'll do that. Anyways, let's begin day four. Let's see about this new tool we've got. It's a music box. Okay. Well then. Happy birthday. 
order the usage. All right. All right, Trigger, get in there. There's a cat on our desk now, so she is here looking at us and rubbing her face all over our third monitor, all over our tablet. Meow. Me listening. Ending the usage. This listen to the resource. Music will recover SP, including the employee playing the music box and everyone in the department where the abnormality is located. Okay. TV event. Now, there's a trick to that. We know there's something going on with that. So we're going to send someone else in. For another 30 seconds. We are just focusing on the music box right now. We'll get the stack grinding momentarily. Temperance went down by two. Oh, wait, no, that's because the ears. Up. Oh. Okay. Weiss is doing murders now. Uh, zero sanity. All right. It's a good thing you brought white weapon. Yep, we're going to go ahead and send those two to suppress because they've got the white weapons. Oh, yeah. For people uh, who never played this, there are uh, four types of damage. There's red, which does health damage. There's white that does sanity damage, and also if if you're insane and you get uh, white damage, you recover hell H SP instead, like sanity points. Right. Uh, there's black that do both health and sanity, and then there's spell which does uh, a percentage of HP. Okay. So if someone goes insane, you usually want to hit them with uh, white weapons. Okay, so if we let them, someone hang out there for 30 seconds. Then their uh, SP starts to rapidly fall, so we have to be very careful then playing with this one. Okay, I mean 17. Okay, we will do that tomorrow then. We'll fix the next day up. Thank you, Nami. Okay. Alright, okay. Meet it up. All right, get on in there. We're poking at this one very slowly, but we will figure it out. Realistically, we could have our white, our crew of uh, white damage folks stand outside the room and just let someone stand in there till they go crazy, and then have the white crew immediately suppress them. Not a bad idea. And the usage there. Is it for more info on that so you can make it speed up now? There are a few phrases crudely carved on its surface. Do you remember this melody? Press used to play this song when the students were sleepy. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Grief. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's not our birthday. Wow. All right. So everyone has white weapons except for Phoenix and... I believe it's Phoenix and Weiss. Yeah. All right. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and... Uh, Go there. <laughs> Thank you for the 20 bits. It's not our birthday. 
but thank you. Nope, nope, sugar. Cannot go down there. Uh... <laughs> ah, fuck. That was loud. We thought we turned those off. All right. Okay, I think those are our two white weapon users here. In which case... Yep. All right. All right, go ahead and use that. All right, we're, we're not doing full, full times 10 speed, but we are going to go ahead and speed it up just a little. Go a little faster. All right, and let's see if this works. And we're good! Ooh, fuck, though. Why is fucking up Cybermoth? Whoopsies. How close are we to that final bit? It just works. It just works. All right, so we're going to give a moment for Cybermoth to heal here. And then we'll do it again. Oh, yeah, thanks to uh, Netzak being suppressed to get HP in even in the hallways. Yeah, it's lovely. Nice. It's lovely. All right, we're going to send someone that doesn't have the dead, such a deadly weapon on their back. I think the problem, though, was that 1.3, 1.2... Eh, but it went fine. We'll just do it again. And then, once this is done, we're just going to quickly farm out the boxes for the day and call it. And we didn't even need to. We got the fourth level done. All right. Perfect. So that's done. You two can go back up there now. Kick speed up 10. And we'll just go ahead and quickly farm out for the day. All right. Let's get you some justice. Use an instinct. And... Okay. Day's done. Quick little stat boost for Egea. We'll get more proper stack grinding going later. All right. We're learning. We're learning. We're learning. And now we get to open our next apartment. Not yet. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. You're one, right. One day we forgot there's one, right. there's one extra day. Whoopsies. Our founder, A, has said this to me many a time. Each successful experiment makes you a better person. The greatness of this company was founded on multitudes of trials and hardships. So you too shall become great. Each day in the company is another small experiment towards shaping your life for the better. How has your day been today? Well, of course it was fine. Let's spare the pleasantries, no? Manager, how's your life been? It could be better. I cannot see the color of your life as you do. While I am unable to console you with empty words such as, that's not true. Many things will change while you are here. That much is clear. This is a simple metaphor, but the seed of a tree will not grow just anywhere. It requires fertile, fertile soil, the right temperature, 
and fresh water. However, most seeds fall on barren soil. Yeah, we're not going to talk about the previous company. About that man for or whatever. Because it was very flammable soil. Anyways. For those malfallen seeds, stretching out their roots and sprouting even small leaves are challenges full of pain. I cannot provide you with water or sunlight. However, I will do my best to tend to the soil. They do, that's true. However, however, it doesn't do so good when it's all fire and deep underground. And also was full of dead people. Actually, no, those are great fertilization conditions. We hope they build a forest over the previous company. All right. First things first, we're going to edit Nami. We're going to strengthen the employee with the proper looks. All right. And then after we do this, before we start day five, we are going to take a short break. Just to get up and stretch and everything. All right. So, here we go. Also, Nami, would you prefer we change Nami's name to Ume, or... Just one really, really big tree. One really big tree. Okay, we'll just leave it as Nami, then. That's fine. Two and two. And is there anything else you need us to change about uh Nami's appearance here? Or about Ume's appearance? Hair still good or Whoopsies. We'll give you a moment to go grab that if you need to. Yeah, no worries. That's perfect, actually. If that's the case, then before we finish up Nami here, we are just going to step away, send you to the BRB screen, and we'll be back after a short break. All right. So, we will be right back. So, take a chance, get up, stretch, do whichever you need to do. We'll be right back.
Hello, we're back. All right. Welcome back. Thank you. All right. Let's finish. Shrimp check everyone in chat. All right. Ume real. Hi. Hi, goblin. There's a goblin on our desk now, and she is being so demanding. Of attention. Hi. Hi, goblin. Come on. Little beast alert. Alert. Okay. Let's go ahead and start day five. This will be nice and quick. We're just going to quickly... We'll use this as a farming day to get some quick stat work done. Nothing too extreme. Alright. Kick back up to max speed already. Alright. Yeah. Here he is for insight training, so... So we're just going to sit here for a while and listen to the uh, meltdown noise go off repeatedly while we pet our cat. And we're just farming up some stats. I'm a little bit oh. You are such a little beast. We pat all those. All right. Making bread. Oof. We should make bread sometime. Oh. We haven't used our bread maker in so long. We gotta get that going again. Oh. One day what we'd like to do is we'd like to dedicate a portion of our fridge to, like, doing a sourdough starter. We'll be one of those people. And get real into making sourdough bread. I don't know what that is. So... Who's that? Uh... We don't quite know what to differentiate sourdough bread from, say, regular bread, but a uh, sourdough starter is a process of uh, basically keeping a living mass of dough in, like, part of your fridge and using the parts of it you cut off to make bread. Oh, it's so like growing your own bread? You know what? In a weird way, yeah. It's like, it's like growing your own bread. Okay. All right, we're just going to go ahead and uh, quickly pause and see where everyone's at, stat-wise. All right, we've gone plus 46, so a little bit more there. We'll just let that run for another minute. Hello, hello. And... All right, so have another minute, and then we're good for the day. All right. 
That's good enough. 97, 79, 95. Not bad. Not bad. Excellent. All right. What are you digging in over there? What are you doing over there? She started digging at something, and we don't know what. And that's a bad sign. The old lady. Today's shy look and fairy festival. All right. Hmm. All right. It's going to be, Bell. You know? I don't. That's why I'm asking. Hmm. See, the thing is, two of these we can... Well, I mean, technically speaking, we can ignore all of these. Once they're in the uh -huh. facility, we can just ignore them. Uh, we're trying yeah. to remember Fairy Festival if it has any effects if we don't interact with it enough. Do you want me to remind you what it does? Uh, yeah, go ahead and remind us real quick, please. Fairy Festival, if you work on it, and as soon as you exit, you send uh, as a person to work on something else, uh, instant death. That's right. It. We're going to go with today's shy look as a thing that we can safely ignore and not care about. And while we could go for the old lady and have Gam Gam again and just do the same thing, uh, if we have any future challenges about having no, like, Clyphoth breakouts or whatever, she's kind of a problem in that because if we ignore her and that she gets all gammy, that still counts, we think. Okay. So, we're just going with today's shy look because we can safely ignore today's shy look entirely. As you are aware, there are numerous employees working for our company. A majority of them would like to know more about you as a person. Some will take the initiative and attempt to approach you first. It's rather funny, knowing who you are will not do anything to improve their odds. There are no regulations to prevent them from coming all the way to your office to interact with you face to face, unfortunately. Seems the one who set those rules in place did not consider situations like this. And I suppose this may be a good opportunity for you to show them that you were generous and caring enough to have chit chat with your subordinates. Words tend to travel faster than you think. I will not stop you from meeting with someone if there are employees who wish to visit you. But please keep in mind that you do not have to do everything they ask of you. Simply thank them for their effort. Tell them you hope that they will keep up the good work. That will benefit both parties, don't you think? Are you still following me? What they, we, need is a gesture of goodwill and nothing more. Do not go overboard and listen to whatever nonsense they have to say. Give them a vending machine and next they will come knocking, demanding a bar. I expect you to make the right decision. You know what? Fair point, Meat Man. But also, we kind of don't like... We don't like beer. But other alcohols... Yeah, that's fair. Greetings, manager. Would you like to expand the information department and prepare for management? Hello again, Yassad. Foxy little guy. Alright. We have our first new department again. And so... More employees will go in. Some more returning faces. It seems only fair we hand Agori back, because Agori all but ran this place. For so long. There is an energy drink brand known as Suck by Energy. That's so good. That should be they should make that a real place here. Suck my energy? Oh. Well then. We thought that was a spelling mistake. Okay, no. Sign energy. What the hell does that mean? Anyways. In you go. It means you should read the uh, Wonder Lab. I think that sounds like chapter one. Alright, fair enough. Listen, we already kind of made our mental timeline for ourselves. We're going to read Wonder Lab when we beat the game. And then we'll get into library okay. right now. And again, we don't know if we're going to right away stream 
Library of Runa, but we'll probably play it a bit ourselves first. We'll see. We'll see how we're feeling once we've beaten this. And again, either way, we we know what game after we beat Lobotomy Corp, we already know what the next game we're going to stream is to beat it. We already know the next one. Because we've settled on what new games we want to add to our stream lineup for the rest of the year to try and maximize as many of the games that we've started that we can beat before the year's out. Is the goal. Alright. And you know what, Winston, get back in there. Alright, that said, we are going to go ahead and uh, equip them now that they're back in. Back in business. Alright, Gory, let's get you some gear. Alright. Uh, we can't do the actual Ume outfit yet because, again, as we established, it would be cheating. So this one's kind of close, though. We're so sorry. We're working as fast as we can to get them back. We're working as fast as we can to get back to that gear. We will... Okay, it is okay. Once nothing there returns, we will be set. We will. There will be a return. We will get it back. We don't even have Ume's weapon anymore. That's gone too. Sad. Alright, yeah, that'll do. Alright. And again, we are going to all but entirely ignore today's expression down there. The, Rest in peace. The Dawn of Crimson. Ooh, we get an ordeal today. That's right, you get information. Yeah, that's one of the other mods added as a quality of life thing, is that we have, we it, it uh, lets us know kind of in advance what, uh, or deals we're looking at. That's right. For the day. Which is nice. It's convenient. Alright. Well, now that you three are placed here, you just kind of get to hang out down here. There's not a whole lot to do in this point. Besides, uh, we're going to race on up, get some more training done for the day. And then, uh, and then from there, let me just make sure we got everything for today. Should I look? We're not missing anything. Perfect. Just gotta double check. All right, bit of bit of grinding here for work. Oh, ears have been replaced with penitence. All right.
All right, so. Yeah, okay, we're gonna go ahead and go with you. Alright, we're just slowing down time while we wait. There it is. Bring in the clowns. And, and done and done. Back to business. And again, we're just going to hang out here a little bit longer, just for a bit of grinding. Now that we've done, dealt with the ordeal for the day. We're just chilling for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Might as well again, while we're here, get some of the early stats just to get the uh, new recruits to match up to uh, the old guard, as it were. Ah, alright. What do you think about uh, lowering a bit uh, the sound so we can stop hearing the you know what? alarm and stuff? That's a very good point. Uh, the master volume is... Uh... Well, you're already pretty low. <laughs> yeah, we'd have to turn yeah. that off entirely at that point. It's just such a loud noise. Uh, okay, we've turned yeah, it... Half a bit to the left. <laughs> Uh, so, here's the thing, Weiss. Technically speaking, it's though it's been a bit because we're bad with uh, mobile games. Um, That's a bit better. That's a bit better volume-wise. Uh, we do actually already play Limbus. It's just, again, we're bad at... We're bad with, like, mobile-designed games. We're bad at committing to playing them a bunch. But uh, we've played a bit of it. We need to play more and sit down to it to really finish it. Ah, welcome back. Is it just me or... Uh, I mean, I don't know if it's still happening, but... You're getting... Crunchy spikes? Uh... Do you want to hear that? Uh, so... We also have it on Steam, but we just tend to play games like that on mobile just because of how we are, but, uh... We've been meaning to are you, are you able to listen to the game on mobile? Because... It's it's a project on games and music is pretty. Yeah, we're able to listen. We're able to listen to the game unless okay. we're playing it at work. Don't worry, we're not missing the audio or anything. We just we've got it on the computer just because we meant to uh, be able to sit down and uh, nice good stat grind, good stat boosts. There we go. Yeah, the <sighs> Limbus had a huge uh, huge update last week. There was chapter four that came out. <sighs> I still haven't we are, recovered emotionally. We are so far behind, but now that we're back here in Lobcorp, we're going to sit down and more seriously grind out Limbus to catch up. Now that we're back in it, you know, we've got more time to commit to it, because that's the thing is, until last week, we were back working full-time hours at a very tiring job, just to, uh, job. Peer, just to uh, peer behind the curtain a little bit, as it were. That didn't allow us a lot of, uh, you know... That's fair. We appreciate that, wise. Uh, but uh, yeah, just to uh, give a peek behind the curtain. But we're back on part-time hours there, thankfully. So we've got more free time and energy to focus on things like streaming, the art we do, and all of that. By the way, uh, we never properly introduced ourselves. Hi, we're grief. We're trans plural streamer. Hi, what's good? We're a trans woman. We stream. Uh, there's three of us in here, but you'll mostly hear me talking. I'm Millie. Hi. Uh, we do art. We stream video games. We're passionate about fighting games and other variety stuff. And, uh, yeah, if you follow us on Twitter, you can see the art we do. 
or you can check in the Discord that you joined into. We do we have art channels in there as well that we do art in. Yeah. Hi, I'm I'm Psycho. I'm 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 not important. I'm not the streamer. Psycho is a good friend uh... of ours and a valuable ally in our quest to beat Lobotomy Corporation. Yeah. And is again I, I, also the I'm, one who got uh, us this game. Obsessed with this game is all you need to know, basically. And that you are a good friend of the stream and we value having you around. Thank you. Yeah, of course. We're always happy to have you here. Do you remember uh, how far you went into Olympus last time? <sighs> I'm not going to lie to you. We're not done the first chapter. We're not... Oh, okay. Well, that just yeah. means there's a lot. You can. Uh, there is so much for us. A lot for you. Hmm? There is so much for us to catch up on. Yeah, there's a lot ahead of us. I We're... mean, it, I, I, I meant it like in a positive way. So oh, yeah, absolutely. For you to like enjoy. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's still a positive something. We've got plenty of game to enjoy. It's just, again, oh, we're just so bad about committing to things, to, you know, games like that. So, it. yeah, it's, we'll uh, get there. It, it may be like a mobile game and, like, ideally you should, like, at least show up, like, once or twice a day just to, like, convert your stamina into, like, reserves, you know? Yeah, like, fair. You play it uh, whenever you like. It's mm -hmm. it's no no rush. Yeah. Anyways, as long as you're having fun. Exactly. Anyways, we have a new face here. We have a new one. What's really pitiful is people like you dying to the likes of me. We've seen this one come up a bunch, but we never took it. The vote never went that way. So let's find out. Well, what waits behind that door? The facility, the energy output of our facility is ever increasing. You have proven that you are much more capable than you originally perceived yourself to be. No, you're absolutely right, Wise. Uh, we also took a... We have a uh, diploma in game programming and design sort of thing. We went to post-secondary for it. Uh, but yeah, no, it's good. It's a good system. Yeah, I've been playing... I mean, obviously I play it every day because uh you know funny funny autism moment <laughs> uh but uh like from what i've heard of like hdm and uh hmile which like play it a bit here and there uh it's supposedly pretty good free to play so they've been playing it free to play and they have everything so yeah clearly fair. clearly you you can catch up and also like next week they are they adding a new uh, a new dungeon you can grind. Uh, dungeon is the stuff you use you you unlock it after chapter two. It's a thing uh, you know like you you get encephalin for like just uh, spending time. Yep. Yeah. Right. Yep. Yeah. And if you don't um, if you don't use it like if you're about to go to bed, it's still going to generate encephalin while you're not. The game, so you can convert that into modules, and you can use the modules to like uh, do your daily stuff, right? Oh, interesting. So technically, even if you're not like playing the game actively, if you just like check up every like twelve hours or something to just convert your encephalin into modules, you can like save up uh, a lot and do like a bunch of uh, a bunch of uh, daily stuff at once, weekly, daily, whatever. Interesting. So if you want, if if you if you feel like you're going to want to play at some point, but not right now, and you don't mind, uh, you can like just convert your encephalin into modules, and then uh, later on when you'll feel like playing, you'll be like grateful, I guess. Ah, yeah, fair enough. Learn you'll something be able every day. To, to play a whole lot at once. Yeah, fair and... enough. I don't know. Like I, I haven't played any other mobile game of this kind. I don't play gacha game. Other than this fair. one, yeah, that's like fair. I think uh, there is a call it stamina in those game. Uh, HDM told me usually and it's you can just an kind idea of like that, yeah. Uh, yeah you you can stock you can stock that in Limbus, which is apparently uh, not something very common. Uh, that's uh, nice, I guess. Yeah, we've seen some games do it. Like Ark Knights does it as well, where you can just kind of stockpile it for a long, long right. time, which is nice. Uh, but yeah, it's less common than we would hope. Well, you can do it in Limbo, so that's cool. Hell yeah! All right, we're gonna keep and going. Yeah, if you, if you, uh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't, don't, don't wait for him. Just yeah. 
don't wait on me just because I'm thinking. All right, you 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 want a voice? Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. No. Again, that's just our thing. We can just click through the dialogues again. We've seen L before, but it's nice to have this little reminder. And again, we're doing it for people who yeah, are yeah, joining sorry. us for the I first was time. Just it's all good. Not paying attention. It's all good. We can chat more once we get to the cutscene. The high echelon is watching you. Our founder A is among them. What do you know about A? A. He is a visionary. A farmer who sowed seeds on a virgin soil no one had approached before. In time, he may express interest in meeting you in person. If that happens, you will be able to make your dreams come true. Myself? Well, of course, I highly admire him. But to be fair, he is the one who created me. He is also an enigmatic person. I imagine there are few who can truly understand him. In fact, to truly understand anyone is difficult. Will the day come that I understand you completely? More info team! Alright, we're good. Anyways, yeah, we will play more Limbus. We're excited to. We're just again. Yeah, anyways, the point I was getting at is... Uh... If you just talk high your materials, you can just play the, the, the new dungeon they're adding, which just gives you a bunch of currency you can use to to uh, to buy previous units if you if you want to own them. You can also just borrow from friends. I have like everything. You can you can borrow whatever you want if you want. Fair enough. All right, good to know. Ah, right. Gam Gam's the one who gives those sick round glasses. That's the one thing. Oh well, whatever. Yeah. If Gam Gam shows up again and we need the more glasses, we can do that. But there's others. All right. All right. Let's get you back in there. And get you geared up. Yeah, and also what HGM was saying is they were playing like free to play, and at this point in time, I think they joined like, I think they played somewhat regularly but they joined like two or three weeks into the the, the release of the game mm -hmm. and at this point they own uh they own everything in uh they mm -hmm. own everything that's available in the game and they still have like uh 300 mm -hmm. pulse in the gacha and like yeah. uh eight guaranteed from the shop they can get so like it, it it's fairly it's fairly lenient it's very uh, free to play friendly. Hmm. That's good to know. All right. Yeah. We're going to try this somewhere. That's something. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, you lost your dog ears because uh, we had you farming uh, one sin and hundreds of good deeds. Yeah, if you have uh, someone level uh, four, you can lock uh, the, the gift. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Everyone is you level need, four. You need case, to, but... like, Tell us if you want to lock something. Yeah, if you if you have a, get a gift that you want locked in, you gotta you gotta let us know, and then we can lock it in, no problem. Some of them yeah. are locked in already, but uh, yeah. So yeah, if you want us to go, if you want the dog ears, let us know. We can go get the dog ears again, and then you know lock those in. All right. And now we've got a new friend to meet. Oh, wait, Psycho, you can't go in yet. We got a new friend to meet. Get in here, bastard intern Summer. We'll find a way to kill you yet. Won't, um, won't repeat. replaced by fucking Summer. Listen, we're not going to repeat our previous mistake of not finding a way to kill Summer when we could have. I understand. I, I get it. So you'll be back in soon. All right, let's see what we're looking at. Huh. It's a guy. It's a guy. Guy kind of guy. All right. Yay. Guy kind of guy. Well. I don't like the breathing he's doing. Get in there, Summer. Oh, yeah. When, when I say, uh, sorry, I'm talking about Limbus again, uh, if you don't mind. It's just That's like, fine. That's fine. Lobotomy is just a nice game to have. In the background and talk about different things i think so it's a good it's a good talking me, game just tell me if you don't like if you don't if you don't mm -hmm. like it 
That's but, yeah. To respond to uh, chat, yeah, so, so it's true that you can beat the game with base characters. It's like it, it gets a little hard starting from chapter three if you're not completely grinded to max level. Max level is still not a problem, but like, still, uh, the, the point is, even if you can beat the game with uh, base characters, even if it's it's not hard, it's it's just like it's still a team building game, right? You want to be able to to use a vari variety of characters and make a vari variety of teams because that's that's the funny part, right? Playing with a, a bunch of different shiny toys, you get it? Mm -hmm. No, it makes perfect and sense. That's, that's why when I say Limbus is free to play friendly, I don't just mean um, it's easy to get to to beat the game because. Yeah, that, that, that's that's kind of a given. I I, I hope for for gacha games. I don't I don't play that, but I hope mm -hmm. that's a given. Oh but, yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, but it... when I when I say it's it's free to play, play, play yeah. when I say it's free to play friendly, I mean uh, it's easy to get all the shiny toys you want uh, mm -hmm. because yeah. that's that's the interesting part when you get something oh. that looks cool and and you want to get it. Absolutely, and it's great you can, that you but... can. Uh, yeah. Yeah, the thing about it is that it's still a unique standout thing in a lot of uh a lot of gacha games because so many of them rely on uh oh. All right. Hmm? Hang on a second. Did did For you manage to get summer gulch? No. So uh summer. Well it's not get in there. Time to send summer. Summer get in there. It's mulching a clerk instead of Summer. It's okay, Summer. Can wait a little bit. Uh, make the pain last a little longer. Damn. Is Summer about to do it? Quick execution bullet. Before it's too late. Ah, oh, fuck. We got a gory in the shot. Damn it all. Oh. This is so sad. Oh, too bad. We have to reset. Anyway. Well, back to the start of the day. All right. So, our verdict. The Forsaken Murderer here, it is, in fact, very hard to get him to beat Summer to death on his own. Mm -hmm. But this is a valuable learning experience in and of itself. Indeed. Anyways... Get out of here, Summer. We don't actually want to look at you. All right, now you can come back out. All right. Here we go again. So what were you saying before? Uh, that about uh, Limbus? About Limbus is that, you know, again, the shiny toys part, again, and getting a bunch of cool characters, that's fantastic, and that's core of so many gacha games, but so many gacha games are designed so you can't just beat the game with the base set of characters you've got. It's really? impossible to do because the anticipation really? is the incentive of giving you, all right, so here's some free rolls. Then you'll get some better guys because the beginning stat team you get is no good. They tend to be mediocre at best. Oh. They'll get you a little bit of the ways, that's but bad. you'll hit a wall. So that's what makes it unique and a worthwhile thing to point out for Limbus is that you can just take the starter team and go, let's do this. And be fine for the whole game. And that's unique in gacha games. And their design philosophies. Because their goal is to get you going. Well my team is shit. I can't do this with them. So let me get out the wallet. To roll for some more guys. For better, for a better team. Right? I see. Okay. That's yeah, that, the usual. Know that. So that's why it is a worthwhile point. To focus on accessibility. Is that, uh, that you can just do it with the initial team. You don't need well, it's anyone also, else. We, we, we just have like four chapters right now. Maybe I'll get harder. As I mean, that's on. that's fair. But no, even still, other gacha games wouldn't make it. Wouldn't even let you get that far. OK, that's that's why we're saying it's a unique and special thing, especially in the world of gacha game design for it to be able to do that. That's a unique standout mm -hmm. thing. Because mostly, normally, it won't even give you enough to fill a full team in these games. Never mind beat the game with them. Um. All right.
I don't like hovering over it, because sitting there and listening to this man huff and puff like that is weird. They're forsaken. Yeah, it does that. It's not great. The forsaken murderer is not our friend. Regret. Oh, that's a cool little piece. Nope. All right. All right, we're just speeding it up a little bit while we do the work here. Unforeseen side effect. The weird breathing noises are layering on top of each other. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. People be breathing. Ooh. Ooh, that's a fresh as fuck little outfit for a tech. Ooh. Yeah, it looks nice. Ooh, the belts really add to it. Ooh, that's got that Nomura flair. I like that me, lot, me, actually. Me when I get sent to the Bloodborne Dimension. <laughs> Hang on a second. Everyone just take a moment to uh, listen in close. Me breathing. Breathing emoji, exhaling emoji, <laughs> nailing emoji, exhaling emoji. We need 12 different breathing sounds layered over top of each other at all times. And he is just vibrating. Uh, but yeah, what you got? <laughs> Sorry, we almost skipped over this, uh, Weiss. Uh, yeah, they're doing a gotcha game to make the money to expand the world, not just to make a shit ton of money sort of thing. And that's, again, unheard of in the realm of gotcha games. You, so many of them are shut down so like within six months sort of thing, just because... They don't make enough money because that's their end goal is not to just make enough money to chase their passions, but to make enough money to make the, the company rich. Yeah, they are. They have a lot of things planned. I mean, already right mm -hmm. now, they have like a funny little cafe on the side of their development studio. I don't know if you've heard. Nope. Never heard uh, of that. They, That's cool. They, they used to have, I think, uh, a restaurant on the left, and now they have a restaurant on the left and a theme cafe on the right. Ooh, fun! Where, where you get, they, they put out a bunch of uh, menu items based on uh, the characters. That's fun! Of the video games. I think right now they are doing something uh, Runa related. I don't know if you've heard of uh, the Index. Nami, Nami talked about that sometimes, I think. We have a vague recollection of it, but again, we've kind of ignored and avoided a lot of info about Runa, just because, again, we want to leave that fresh for when we beat this and go into it, you know? Yeah, that's fair. All right, we've got our final observation for the Forsaken Murderer here. Uh, ooh, Gloria Standy. Who's Gloria? All right, let, 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 uh, I need to hold the, the, the final observation. Uh, go for it. This snake is a, is a rope. It's up to you whether or not you want to cut it. Cut the rope or don't cut the rope. Well, we love that game. I don't know. You think I'm pathetic, huh? But it's people like you who are really pathetic because you'll get killed by me. All right. Next time, don't do that. Just what let him die. What a friendly little fella. Wow. Kind of rude, honestly. Alright. Yeah, they, they are using the game to fund their uh, side project. I mean, maybe not so side project, I guess. They have the theme cafe, and they are plan they announced uh, a couple games they want to make. Namely, uh, I think they want to make but you you can pro you probably know this. I mean, it's even if you don't, I can tell you because it's like literally the first cutscene of Runa. Uh, in Runa, there's Angela, and there's another main character. Uh, this is what you're playing right now is the backstory of Angela, basically. Ooh. And uh, they're making another game, which is the backstory of the other character. Ooh, fun! Like the the, the past of the other character. Uh, yeah. So that's like one thing they mentioned. Uh, there's Distortion Detective, which um, 
it's it's currently a web novel you can read, uh, but they stopped uh, updating mm. it because uh, they want to make it a game. They oh, said okay. they want to make it a game in the style of like Disco Elysium. Ooh. So you're going to be able to have like uh, a detect to be like a detective in the city. You're gonna have the ability and, to play uh, the most sopping, wet, pathetic bastard there ever was. Got it. Yeah, you get to be a, a, a pathetic old oh. uh, lady. Oh, Weiss, you got your ears back. Nice. Nice. Ears they said they restored. They want to make a dungeon, a dungeon crawler in the outskirts of the city also. Ooh, we do love a good dungeon crawler. Oh, they also want to make a remake of or a sequel to Lobotomy Corp. Interesting. We don't. Uh, I, I, I'm not. I'm not. I don't remember exactly about that. I think they said they wanted to make LC2, but I don't know if that was supposed to mean uh, Limbo's company because you know the acronyms are kind of similar. But probably they want to remake uh, Lobotomy like properly at some point, which would be interesting. But also we don't know the plausibility of a sequel just because we haven't beaten this game yet, so we don't know. Yeah, it's probably not uh, the highest priority. Fair. The the thing is Project Moon, which you can probably tell is uh, there's a huge focus on like the story, right? Yeah. Yeah, and um, remaking a game means they're going to not make a lot of new story, is the thing. So mm -hmm. I don't expect a lot of it. Mm -hmm. We're personally personally speaking, you say a remake, and the first thing that comes to mind is like those you those like Unreal Engine things where people go like <laughs> slap Mario into a hyper realistic thing. So we're just gonna they're gonna do a remake, and it's gonna be like we're gonna watch Hod do like sprinting around an open field in the highest definition possible, and that's it. <laughs> we're going to get uh, the day ten filter every day, every single day. All right, we're stretching. Uh, thank you, Grimace, for the stretch redeem. We hope the day is going well. No shrimping in chat. No shrimping. Everyone stretch. Employees that be caught shrimping get sent to uh to to the shrimp island in the in the in the huge lake in T Corp. Sorry, no shrimps frying rice here. You only get chicken fried rice, and you'll be fucking pleased about it. Chicken fried rice is what Limbus Chapter 3.5 is about. Good. As it should be. All right, we've got Void Dream Singing Machine, which, uh, God, as much as we love Singing Machine, we're not putting back in. Just because... Well, mm -hmm. actually, we could put Singing Machine back in because it won't actually affect anything because it's funny. Because I mean, we don't actually have to. to affect anything. Yeah, but that said, 1.76 megahertz is useful as a trainer. Yep, that's right. So that's why we're going to go with that one. It's a good, it's a, it's our proper justice trainer. So we want to hold on to that. Get that in early. Let that's me ask. Let me ask you a question. What would you do if one of your subordinates, who is harvesting energy from an abnormality to meet the quota, shall face certain death doing so? This is a very basic question, so I'm certain you know the right answer. Uh, simple. If they step out of the containment unit, through, despite all odds, execution bullet. That would that incorrect was a noise. That is not the perfect answer I was expecting. The truest answer would be to harvest enough energy before such a situation could arise. Where's our execution bullets, Angela? <laughs> We have to fire down rapid. We have a few execute clerks now. Because you've made us mad. The Bottomy Corporation is an industry giant, and its mission to produce energy is our top priority. You do seem to listen to my words. I expect you to manage your subordinates with that attitude. Yeah, that's why we have Bastard Intern Summer there to help us release our frustration. Yeah. By sending him to die repeatedly it makes us feel good it's funny it's amusing every time mm -hmm. it is always correct to kill summer it is always the Mor morally moral moral obligation <laughs> it is morally and ethically correct every time to kill summer absolutely yeah we can lock the dog ears in hang on a second lock that in 
All right, now Igori, we do like Igori. We do like having regret there, so we're gonna go ahead and lock that in. We're gonna go ahead and hide Pentanus because uh, that feels right. There we go. That's a fresh look. Well, now we got checked. We've got matching outfit. Actually, that goes a little better. Well, we do actually. What are we talking about? We just made it. Because Igori is wearing Letitia's outfit. However, we did just make regret. Injured. It does look fresh as fuck, even though it's not the best. Uh. So. Lore facts. Uh. Is it an abnormality we already have? If it's an abnormality we've got, then yeah, absolutely, that's perfectly fine. Now, here's the thing. We'll, before we uh, get to this, when we originally streamed this game, we had a plan in place, which was that when we reached the end of the game and beat it, we were going to dedicate a stream to just sitting down and reading all the story details that you unlock with each abnormality as you complete them, because we haven't read any of them. We ignored them all specifically in the interest of doing that stream. And now that we're back in, in Lobotomy Corporation, we still want to do that. So there will be a stream dedicated to us sitting down and just reading them all out loud. And now, you're fine with like a little fun facts here. But yeah, here, but right? absolutely, we're fine with fun facts and like interesting stuff. Absolutely, we're fine with that. Just don't give us the entire story, you know? But give us the fun facts. Yeah. Give us fun facts. That's fine. That's not a problem at all. We love that shit. Yeah. Just again, we thought it'd be a fun idea. Ooh, that would make sense, actually. That is cool. That is cool, and also explain why he's just kind of a regular guy. Like, he's got that... that his head did that thing when he escaped. And notably, we noticed the hammer is... Uh, that. But, uh... That's very interesting and makes sense. Alright, yeah, we'll keep the outfit the same, but we are gonna hide the... We are gonna go ahead and hide that for glory. We're allowed to play with Agori because Agori was our original employee who was given to us when we first started the play. We did not, we accidentally did not customize Agori. It was an accident there, but uh, that's okay because Agori is a stalwart companion to this. And so we can just kind of customize Agori like whatever. All right, so now we're cooking. All right, all right, all right. Oh, wait, we can bring someone else back in. Okie dokie, how about... Mm, uh, yeah, you can do a little prunes, Bailey. Get in there. Modest comprehension.
Alright. There is a very small thing. Point of contention here. Ah! A special guest appearance, Nami. Hello. Howdy and welcome. Uh, we're haunted. Alright. We forgot to actually commit. There we go. All right. Let's begin day eight. The Dawn of Crimson. Okay, that's easy enough. All right. Who needs some, uh, who needs some, some justice? Let's see here. No one down here in this department needs it. All right. Uh, we got folks up here who need it. All right. Right. You shut up down there, Forsaken. Forsaken murderer. Shut up down there. Alright. Alright, let's go ahead and do this real quick. It's roped up to you whether or not you want to cut it. His neck snaps. Granting him a silent and eternal rest. Well, he looks perfectly fine to me. Alright. Oh, we never made the gun! Our fool. Oh, that's because that's from the mod. Oh, that would explain it. That's our first instance. So uh, we'll go ahead and stop for that for a moment to explain it. So uh, another one of the mods added in by Psycho here is that some some of the uh, abnormalities only in the game have a weapon or an armor set. However, the others do exist. The other half does exist in the files, apparently. And thus, they have been unlocked. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just keep in mind, it might not be the most uh, balanced thing, but it's it's fine if you use them at this point. It's not like having yeah. a little strong uh, Tef is going to break the game. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's so cool. They have the Lethal Leaf Lee Blaze character, Dusk Nashes, as a guest abnormality in Forsaken Murderer. You're so fucking right, Nami. That is so cool that they did that. So, Noise here, uh, very clearly looking at it, uh, the reason why we can see that it was probably removed is uh, nothing to do with it itself. It's the same weapon, by the looks of it, as the uh, Singing Machines weapon. It's identical, besides in appearance. Uh, it looks like it's the similar. Same as it's the same as um, Force Match Flame, actually. Oh. Although, oh. I mean, graphically it's the same as Force Match Flame, but uh, Singing Machine also has a, a like rocket launcher type deal that does weight damage, mm -hmm. and that has long range, slow, slow attack. So I guess you, your take also makes sense. Yeah, that's just what we're familiar with because. Uh... Off the top of the dome here, the uh, fourth fourth match is not one we're immediately familiar with. Oh, my bad. That's all good. That's all good. Although, uh, Singing Machine also has the effect of uh, if you attack with it, it takes 10% of your HP. Oh, uh, yeah, right. That That's effect like, is um, important. Too. I don't think this one does that. Well, we'll take a look once the day is over. We'll take a little look-see. Actually, we're just farming boxes up high. We forgot how many, you know, boxes we don't need. All right, so yeah, we'll take a look at the weapon after. Uh, all right, we're going to let you run a little bit longer just to max out that justice before we end the day. 
What? Uh, I don't believe we... Did we encounter Fourth, ma fourth Match Flame? Or is that just the name of the I'm weapon? I'm not sure. Oh, that's the name of the weapon. It doesn't sound familiar to us, so we probably did not encounter it. I don't think you got the abnormality either. I'm, I, I don't recall you finding it. Probably not. Okay, well, that's probably enough training for that. Ah, uh, yeah, to 90. That's good for now. That's a good stat drum. Time to get a this trainer. Yeah. We just gotta say, from what we're building this facility into so far, it's so far lining up to be an easier, more effective uh, early facility than uh, Friday Peaceful so what we had last time. Any yeah. Which is, you know, so it goes. Alright, we've got You Must Be Happy, The Heart of Aspiration, and Shelter from the 27th of March. Uh, We're going with You Must Be Happy, a nice simple one. We didn't get any fun toys in there, so, you know, so it goes. He originally lived in prison, where he hanged himself a week later. But he survived. I've been in situations where I can do nothing more than live or die. Final observation of Forsaken Murderer achieved. Manager, among these three letters of the alphabet, which would you select? C sounds nice. Our true love E. The C. This is a joke. So you pick one? Good. Now please, listen carefully. Alright, the letter C. Not a bad choice. Persons who select C believe that the process is more important than the outcome. Therefore, they are good at planning ahead and enjoy change. They will be able to gain insight and attain inner growth without being confined by the rules. This is a new pastime among the employees. I find it rather uninteresting. There is no scientific basis behind the observations, but it is admittedly a little fun to waste time with these tests. You know, maybe I could imagine whether I would have been this or that kind of person if I were human. Is it too odd for me to think about that? Not in the slightest, that's dope. Alright. Alright. Now we see Grimace has added into our potential employees there. So we will go ahead and uh, match up Grimace to that, because we do actually have Grimace in there already. Well, let's see. Oh yeah, no, uh, we only lost like two or three people. Everyone else survived. The transition over. So, uh, we've got you right there. Uh, is there anything you'd like changed about it, or is that one still good? It looks pretty similar. It does look very similar, yeah. But, is okay? Alright, fair enough. We're more than happy to change if you decide you want anything changed. Alright, that said, let's just go ahead and, again, today's gonna be another quick run day. We don't need to uh, do much special here. The Dawn of Violet, simple one. We just need to farm up some stats. God, we forgot how easy it is in these early days to just gather all the boxes for the day.
Nice. You can really feel different when you don't have to worry about constant meltdown, huh? The game is so much different when it's not when meltdowns are not a concern in the slightest. Yeah. It is It's funny, one of the main uh, reasons I hear when people say they can't get into the game because they say, Oh, it's uh, too stressful. But really, if you're playing it like this, I guess. You can almost just out that and do something else. Yeah, if we were really thinking, what we would set up on our other monitor is Limbus Company, and we just go ahead and do that off stream. We're not doing that. <laughs> That's a joke. I <laughs> mean, Ishmael did that. You could do that. But also, that would be a little bit of weird of a stream. Yeah, that would make it a weird stream if we were constantly talking about that and you didn't get to see any of that while we ignored L Lobotomy Corporation. So, no, no, we're not doing that. Yeah. All right. Maxed out fortitude. 90s there on the justice. Excellent. We're not going to lie. Bailey asked us to do the grind on that one because she thought the, the uh, regret gift was cool. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You can. You can get day 10. We can get you. Cyber Moth, we can get you some, uh, some little justice training in there. Manager, is there something wrong? Ah, I see. Get real. Will you wait just a moment? If you cannot bear to look, you should close your eyes. There, I fixed it. There was a system error. How strange. It shouldn't have been so easily compromised. Now, the thing that we're more, no more concerned about is not about how real it looks or anything like that, or like the, oh, we have to see the horrors. Angela, are you just letting there be dead bodies in our office? Are you just leaving dead bodies in our office? That's kind of annoying. Can we get someone to move those out of the office? That's our concern here. I mean, it saves up on uh, cleaning up cost, I guess. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair enough, we suppose. And Nami, if they're there as a meal for you, could you please come collect them? We would like them to not be in our office. We would like them to leave our office. Thank you, Nami. If you'd be so kind. Just come collect those. Thank you. Thank you, Nami. It's technolo technology originally developed during the war now widely used for commercial purposes. It's not that impressive of a technology, really. The human brain is fragile. Seeing such a cruel and shocking sight may unintentionally lead to a momentary shutdown of the brain's functions. If a manager like you were to suffer such a reaction, it would be very troublesome for me. We're sitting there and we go, damn, this is just like Black Mirror and Angela beats us to death. Right there in the chair. Just fucking kills us. So I installed... I no idea what you're talking about. So Black Mirror has a couple episodes. It has an episode dedicated to something similar where the horrors are hidden behind a visual cognition filter to oh. treat, to, you know, have soldiers be better soldiers. And it's a whole thing. Oh, so, that's yeah, called reality. Wow. Yeah. How, how innovative. The thing is, and we're going to say this outright, so we just don't like Black Mirror. We think it's a bad show. We yeah, just don't enjoy it. what I heard. We just don't enjoy it. <laughs> so many of their episodes and everything. Some of them are cool thoughts, but a lot of them are, are uh, you know, what if. Technology bad. Yeah, just like, but what if a hacker hacked your man? My god. Not mm -hmm. my nan. Your nan's been hacked by the government. Hi, Naomi. Welcome. Welcome. Ah, you asked in the Discord a question. And we didn't type an answer because we were streaming up here. Um, So, that potential employees is for here in Lobotomy Corporation. 
You see, we have employees that we can customize and hire. So, there's a little pit crew link up there at the pinned at the top of the chat that people have been using, and we've been hiring them into our game as potential employees to be murdered. We don't we never saw that one, Nami, but that sounds incredibly funny. All right. All the cognition filter functions dead employees will look like cute dolls splattered with red paint. Abnormalities, even those who could ravage your mental state just by being in your sight, will be reduced to adorable toys on the screen of your office. Trust me, before the cognition filter was installed, many a manager lost their sanity on that seat. I cannot allow you to join them. Okay. Okay. All right. Oh, you only need a little bit more justice training, actually, Sabermoth, and then you'll be maxed out. All right, we can do that real easy. All right. Go for it. All right, today's another quick day of just going and grinding some stats. Nice. Alright, alright, hang on a second. No, we'll just let that run in the background while we do that. Oh, this cat is so sopping wet, sad, pathetic. This is the most sopping wet, miserable beast. <laughs> Incredible. No, not Mackie. But very Mackie vibes. What's a Mackie? Mackie is uh, Grimace's parents' cat. Who is oh. a very sad looking beast. Ah. I understand. She is just a sopping white beast. She was constantly sad and afraid. And also, again, her mother's favorite child. And it's not close. Alright, workday complete. That and maxed out on the, uh... Maxed out on justice. Perfect. Alright. Where are we going? Where are we dropping next, boss? Ooh. We get to choose. Wow.
the city still remained a beautiful place where the emerald road sparkled bright as ever. We are not bringing White Knight into the facility. What an Why insane not? fucking drop for us to have nothing but, you, you know. You could get the funny Alephamet. Don't do that on memory repo day. <laughs> We're not doing that. We're not bringing in White Boy. We're not bringing in White Boy Extreme. Okay. No, it's White Knight at either Hod or, uh... Nutsack. Hod, Hod or Nutsack. Don't call him Nutsack. <laughs> he's, a good, he's a good little, uh, mm -hmm. kind of a stoner, really. But a yeah, good little, little he's very person. much a, Listen, he's very much a stoner. Anyways, yeah. his name is Nutsack. Uh, we're bringing in the new one. We're bringing in the new okay. one. We're not bringing in White Knight. If we're what bringing... does the description make you think of? Uh, it's very clearly a reference to The Wizard of Oz. The original book, The Wizard of Oz. Yep. Which means it can't be the red about the shoes because that's right here. Um, so, uh -huh. it's going to be something. The city still remained a beautiful place. I'll pick it and find out. We're going to find out because, again, we're not choosing White Knight. Is anyone there? Can you read me? I repeat, is anyone there? You can call me B. B. I am B. I am an insider. Someone who knows a lot about the company. Please understand that I cannot reveal my identity. I am going to tell you three truths that the company wishes to keep hidden over the following days. Tell me, please. Why do you think you were hired by the company? Should I rephrase that? Let me ask you like this, then. Are you satisfied with your job here? Buddy, buddy, labor never satisfies anyone. Is that so? Well, I can't judge whether or not you're telling the truth. You're the manager, but you don't actually know anything about the company, do you? Would you say I'm wrong? Each time we speak, we'll need to be as brief as possible. I'm ending the call here. Contacting someone for a long period of time is dangerous. All right, we got training team or safety team. We'll go with training team first. Welcome back, Hod. You now have a possibly dangerous new friend hanging out in there. All right. Alrighty then. So, first things first, we have a new potential employee. Alright, nice. Okay, so we're not going to be able to get all... Alright, that's sure. That's sure thing, Nami. You can be the training team captain. All right. Maru, are you even watching the stream? I don't know if Maru's even here. Anyways. It looks like it. Apparently, we have two different... Mean to you. Maru, you're... Now, that said, Maru, we did hire you already, but we can go ahead and hire this new individual you've crafted here. We don't know who this is, you but... Could, you could uh, change him. But you are also right here. Just so you are aware. Alright. So But I mean if you click strength and you can like uh change what oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, already uh, looks like. Oh yeah, we can we know we can. We're just saying. Okay. Totally fair, Mark. Hey, don't don't do that bit. You know, normal dog things. Fair enough. Fair enough.
we're working on putting you in right now, Naomi, but you go enjoy food. What the hell was that? Yeah, you. It's hard to see because I'm there with the chat, but that's what we're working on right now. All right, then before you go, Naomi, if you just want to take a peek up there past the chat, how's that look? Unfortunately, we can't do things like the glasses or the coat that you've added just because those are uh, based on uh, ego gifts from dealing with the various uh, creatures and beasties around here. All right, so welcome to the team, Naomi. We are going to move you into the control team because we're going to move some other folks down here. Because we don't know what we're about to deal with. All right, you enjoy food, Excuse Naomi. Excuse me for dropping in. Hi, Winston. God, you were so loud. Compared to the game, especially. Okay. No, it's okay. We understand. Winston has that effect on people. And... Alright, Maru. We will hire this... We don't want a discrimination lawsuit. So, who is this individual you've posted down here, Maru? In the chat. In potential employees. Who is this? Give him a name. They are cute. This is fair. So give us a name. Miko. Got it. Miko it is. And we are doing something wild and unprecedented here for Miko. We are going into the extended mod eyes here.
Miko does not seem the sort to be happy about going into combat. There we go. Miko, hired. And of course, we've got a brand new unknown variable. Bastard Intern Summer gets in here. Let's get some gear equipped for our two new recruits, though. They're going to go ahead and uh, give Miko the noise set here. Pop the fuck off of that. And... Now me. Something just flashed us out of the game for a moment there, and that was scary. We don't know what that was, but we didn't like it. Anyways. That's just Shadow of how they're watching. Don't worry about it. Oh, okay. Yay. All right, no, actually, Mari, we feel like you'd appreciate this a little more if we go ahead and give uh, Miko here the uh, the bear paws as a weapon. Bear paws. Ready for punching. Alright. Now, with that all equipped, our Gracer deals at noon now. Let's go ahead and step on in. And let's see what awaits us down here now. It's a scarecrow of some sort. Interesting. Okay. Very, very interesting. Well, hang on a moment here while we, uh... You know, we can farm that. But let's go ahead. Alright, Summer, get in there. Hate that bastard. Oh, that's a great sign. Alright, summer's gone insane. Alright, uh, let me see. You've got a red weapon and you have a white weapon. Alright, Nami. Uh-oh. Mission failed successfully. All right, so, uh, Summer died badly. Uh. All right. 
Do not cry for Summer, Wise. Summer is our bastard intern for a reason. And he will not know peace, even of death. He will know nothing but violence and hatred and anger. We hate bastard intern Summer. Alright, so, well, Summer's dead. But we didn't really gain much info. So, we learned, however, that after one failed attempt, it immediately escaped. And then Summer died badly. Yay. We're glad. Oh, thank you. Oh, uh, there we go. Perfect, Wise. How did you do that to the letters? That's scary. Ah, yeah, but perfect. You get the spirit immediately. Excellent. All right. Okay, so. Well, we learned nothing for the first time. Let's get in there again. Shall we? All right. We're not going to bother having anyone else start working until we get into it. All right, so we're not looking at an Aleph, because it's not enough cost for the basic info there. We're probably looking at a hero wow in this case. Alright. So, instinct went poorly for Summer. But you'll do better on insight, won't you? Won't you, Summer? Go ahead. Go ahead, Summer. Get in there. Show us what you're made of. You're terrified. You're terrified. All right. Means that uh, Scarecrow Boy is about to walk. All right, problem solved. And our two boxes we got will get us nothing. But we know that it has one on the Clyfoth counter. All right. Well, that didn't go so good for you there, Summer. But what if you try again? Oh. Alright, we got some more boxes this time. So much just kind of dies into hits. To be fair, though, in that case, it does make Summer very easy to heal the sanity of. Which is nice. All right, everyone walk into the beatdown box. All right, we're good. Problem solved. All right, we got enough boxes to learn something here. Prudence level three or higher finished their work. The Clyfoth counter lowered. You remember Singing Machine? Do we ever remember Singing Machine? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Three or higher. Summer might be the only person with the Prudence stat to pull that off in the facility right now. Because everyone else is at base level three. Uh-oh. God damn it, bastard I mean, intern Summer, you... It looks like you can also suppress it pretty easily, so who cares with escape also, right? You're right. We did learn, in fact, that the Scarecrow liked to suck. All right. Well, you've done your job. Suck. suck. All right. You've done your job, bastard intern Summer. We hate you. Stay down there. Think about your sins. Okay. Someone else can go in and do some inside work then. 
Uh. Yeah, alright. Nami can go in there. We are still in the midst of a journey. Okay, like smart brains. Because it's the fucking Scarecrow. Yeah. Because it's right. the Scarecrow. This is Wizard of Oz. We have to remember that. Alright. Alright, if you could excuse this for a moment. We're just going to go ahead and... Send everyone to go beat the shit out of the Scarecrow. If you're going to beat him up anyway, you might as well position everyone in the hallway. Yeah, that's a fair point. We do forget that, uh... You can now heal anywhere in the facility. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to have everyone stand in this hallway and just repeatedly suppress the Scarecrow. Bye, man. All right. And you know what? Even up here in the control well, team, there's nothing you folks need to be doing up here for the moment being. You can come stand here, too. I mean, you could you could be researching all the stuff, grinding stuff. We could, but the thing is, again, as we like to say, we like, especially now, if we're learning something new about this guy, we like to focus a step at a time here. Then we'll get to the grinding in a moment. That's fair. That's okay. As long as you're having fun, you don't need to play optimally. Yeah, we're having a good time, and that's what matters. Again, we're going through these days pretty damn fast again as we're catching back up to where we were. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we got no problem doing that. And this seems like a good chance to train up some prudence for uh, Weiss here as well, so. It's only 53 yeah, stats, so. This works out. prudence trainer, if you don't mind, uh, you know. S repeated suppression. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we don't mind that at all. We've clearly made it, we've made it shown here, we can't actually do this without preaching. Period. We cannot currently handle this guy without any breaching. Scarecrow searching for wisdom. Bad, it lowered. When Scarecrow searched for wisdom was escaped and killed an employee, it sucked the brain out to recover its HP. Ah, oh, that's why Summer looked like that. Yeah. All right. Brain tasty. Brain tasty, apparently. Fair enough. All right. So, yeah, we especially if this guy is in such a way that we have to sit and have everyone stand here to repeatedly suppress it, we're just going to deal with it first. Get it all yeah, out of the way. And it's going to take a little bit. Yeah, so... Uh, then... Then, once we've finished repeatedly suppressing this bastard, then it's fine. Yeah, you can probably, like, turn the speed up, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And the weapon is pretty Ooh, decent. That's a fun little weapon. We like that. We like that. All right, that's a funny little outfit. All right, yeah, we can kick the speed up while we do this. Oh, wait, final observation. The scarecrow surrounding in the middle of the field had no brain. The scarecrow was in pain because he had no brain, but could think. The scarecrow, eager for brain and wisdom, followed the girl on a trip. And finally he succeeded in getting what he wanted. The wise scarecrow gained freedom, but those who were uncomfortable with it took wisdom away from the scarecrow. This character was in pain because he had no brain but could think. Hmm. Wait patiently. As I have done before, I will persevere and persevere. I will wait as if I have no soul. Even though I can change what is and isn't, if I wait, someone can come and save me. For now, though. I will drive out the birds that have been ignoring me on the field. I will drive them out again and again. Nice. Nice. Very nice. Anyways. We're going to repeatedly continue to beat the shit out of the Scarecrow. Yay! Alright, so we need... 
105. All right, we need 210 of the boxes total to get all... Uh, no, not 210. Our math's slightly off there. Uh, 175 boxes total. And then we are done with the Scarecrow entirely. An infinite straw. Oh, twice. You got the little, uh, you got a little bow tie. It's kind of cute. What was that cracking noise? Oh, that's, uh, his death animation. Oh, okay. We've only so heard it go off. That makes sense. We only heard it go off once, though, so... Yeah, it was a jump scare for us. Yeah, crow jump scare. I mean, it's, it's supposed to scare, I guess. It's doing its job. Yeah, you know what? Fair Open enough. Heart. Of some sort. It's doing some sort of thing. All right. Oh, we've completed the day just farming this. Yeah, I mean, it's on HG. It's, yeah. It gives our fam all the boxes. Yeah, no, fair enough. Uh, we need one more run of it, but one more will also activate the Dawn, so... Hang on a second, we're gonna go ahead and... I mean, Dawn isn't going to do anything to you. It's going to walk into the... into the room and get instantly destroyed. Yeah, not true enough. Alright, we're gonna go ahead, we'll deal with this, we'll deal with the Scarecrow, and then we'll go ahead and deal with Doubt. At this point, you can, you can probably ignore Doubt. Like, what is what is it gonna do anyway? Maybe it's gonna kill Summer, I guess. Uh, That's about all it can do. We don't care about it killing Summer, we just, like, you know, get it done, you know? Mm -hmm. Actually, that said, our clerks that it's murdering the shit out of are, in fact, doing a great job. Good job, clerks. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Shoutouts to the clerks. Alright, and we go ahead and we get the last thing, and our Scarecrow quest is complete. End the day. So, we're just gonna head send everyone home. Alright. Alrighty, and with that, um... Is there anything you really need to do today? Ah, we did want to do a little bit of, uh... Is there training with Naomi here? Alright, now we can do some quick farming. Just because we've got, a, uh, You know. Yeah, we can just do a little farming here. Might as well. Just to quickly max out a stat for Miko and Naomi as our newest recruits. Just to quickly do that. We'll take a minute here. Oh! Now, we're going to hold on a minute, actually, as we get close, because that's Red Noon. Ooh. Time for Clown. Do we feel like working with the clowns right now and dealing with No. Well, you can just end the day if you don't want to. Yeah, we don't feel like it. Right. <laughs> first trumpet, first trumpet, trumpet, and first trumpet, first trump, first trump, first trump. Infinite trumpets, oh, baby. Me, me practicing my musical skills. Powerful, very nice. As we repeatedly beat a scarecrow to death. Holy shit, we have two new ones. That's not a flower. 
Order all the employees nearby to evacuate immediately. And this is a forest full of hearts. No matter how many he cuts down, the forest still remains dense. You know what this means. Uh -huh. We've managed to somehow stumble upon two brand new ones in one go. Well, yeah, you get you get up to wow tier now, so there's a huge pool you can pull from. Ooh, baby. Anyways. Shall I do a poll? Or are you going to pick? Nah, do a quick poll for these two. Don't include the old lady. Right. Uh, she's not Give an option. Okay. Okay. Uh, one minute, I can't do any shorter. Alright, so go ahead. And choose our fate. Vote. 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 Get some votes going in there. Vote. It's all good. All good, Weiss. And remember, if we have a tie, it will be decided by random roll. We will pull the dice out and put it on our desk and we will roll it randomly. Vote. 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 And if we manage to land on a corner edge on a D6, uh, yeah, we'll choose the old lady. Sure, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, where's the D6? Anything in that bag here? Uh, Alright. Odds we go for middle, evens we go for right. off the desk six even we go for f0532 all right just keep one thing in mind wisdom comes from experience and learning not from natural talent final observation of scarecrow searching for wisdom achieved What do you think of the Sephiroth? Don't you find them somewhat lacking in certain ways? You have the liberty to disregard whatever they may say. However, please be kind to them. This is the burden we must bear if we want to advance their departments, so to speak. I have never had any serious discussion with them. They seem to be uncomfortable conversing with me. Most likely due to the fact that I am a superior being. Even if they are secretly jealous of my superiority, there is nothing they can do to change that. After all, I am the most advanced AI in this company. That's great, we haven't talked to them at all. They're just there. They vibe. Alright. Another step on the training team. Oh, no, wait, we've got a brand new one. So, we're going to go ahead and get, uh... It's time for Summer to get gold once again. As it goes once more. Bastard intern Summer, get in here. Alright. And let us begin. No other changes need to be made as far as we're aware. Let's go. So, let's see what we're looking Ooh. Uh, yes, that was a choice we made, Wise. Here's the thing about what, uh, uh, Summer, actually. Summer was randomly generated to look like this. 
by pure chance, Summer just looked like this. And we went, all right, you're a bastard intern. And we've remade Summer repeatedly. And while the hair color has changed, we've kept the basic look of Summer the same every single time we've had to resummon Summer from hell. All right. So that said, get in there, Summer. Terrified. All right. Summer is unwell. Hang on a second. Nami, you have to go beat the shit out of Summer. All right, we're fine. Okay. Hey, can you open this macro real quick? Can we what? Uh, okay, never mind. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. We will not worry about it. All right. So then, based on circumstances, we're going to go have Nami stand here in this hallway. And then we're going to keep trying things with Bastard Intern Summer until uh, he dies or uh, we figure some, something out. Cancel the order. We chose I that. love circumstances. Big fan of circumstances and situations. Death. Death. Uh oh. Death for Summer. Mission failed successfully. Mission failed successfully. That goes okay. All right. No, it's a mission success. It was great that Summer got fucking smushed into goo. It got squished. All right. However, Summer is not allowed to know the sweet embrace of death just yet. That's freedom that we cannot allow. However, we did get to see Summer die in a good fashion. So, now we can begin our actual work. Yay. Now that we've killed Summer for a laugh, we can begin our actual procedure. Get the fuck out of there, Summer. We don't want you anymore. Alright. We're gonna gear up Grimace now. Geared up, ready for violence. And farming, if needed. Alright, now that we've done this, let's begin our investigation proper. Alright, Delaney, get in there. Try a bit of fortitude, shall we? You're the fucking Tin Man. It's the motherfucking Tin Man. What? What do you mean the Tin Man? 
from Wizard of Oz. Uh huh. Because the scarecrow was searching for a brain, and the and the Tin Man yeah. here collects hearts. <laughs> yep. <laughs> When a temperance you level three or higher completed their work. Okay, so it's a temperance level needs to be low, but. All right, we're doing it again. We're doing it again. You're Everyone... probably going to want to make uh, a guy. Oh, yeah, we're probably going to want to make an employee for this one, huh? Because I'm like uh, the scarecrow. This guy just adults you. Yeah, we did see him fucking, uh, in fact, reduce Summer to a to take your fine heart. pace. Smile. All right, well, now that we've figured that out, yeah, we're stepping back out for a moment. We're going to hire a new employee. Yeah, that's the goal, Nambi. That's how we do it. We're going to make a guy, we're going to do all the work in one day, and then he's going to sit there forever. Alternatively, you can work on it once every day. Exactly one time. Because, yeah. All right, hang on. Thankfully, we have 53 law points. Alrighty then. Uh, hmm. Who are we making? Because it only gets out the second time you enter. Gotcha. Alright, well, first things first. We're going to go ahead and drop the temperance level to one here. Ah, uh, wait, 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 one. Two is okay. Alright, two is fine. It was just to give the maximum safety gap. Anyways. That's a clock. We don't have anyone specific in mind, so we're just going to randomize till we find someone we like. Yeah, sure, that'll do. Maxim, welcome to the team. Oh. All right, now we need to give you some gear. All right, Chris, we'll step back out. Actually, no. Grimace can take Blaney's place. We are immediately charmed by Maxim here. Just a funny little guy. A funny little lady. All right. Do we need something with more trim them? Mm -hmm. Alright, we need something with good white defense because that appears to be the damage done. Is it white? It looked like white damage, yeah. Okay. Because it was it was sanity. It was pure sanity damage. I think it swaps damage types when it steps out of if it escapes. But when it was, but when it was in there, it was definitely, uh, it was definitely sanity damage it was doing. Okay, is that 
Makes sense. Sometimes we pay attention to these things. Wouldn't you know? Um, it's wild, I know, but... Wow. It's almost like learning of some sort. What a good manager you are. We've been known to do occasional good things. All right, let's not jump to conclusions here, Wise. All right, let's not get crazy about it. We're going to borrow that. And you can have a spear. Sure, that's fine. And Phoenix needs a new outfit now. You can have Harvest. Yeah, something about Maxim, Maxim's design here for a randomly generated one is immediately appealing to us. So Maxim will probably stay on the team after this is said and done. Begin management. All right, dawn of green and noon of green. All right. Well, let's get that bread. All right, let's get that bread. Yep, there it is. All right. Back where we were. That went poorly. Yeah, then you uh, probably don't want to work again today. Finish that tomorrow. Well, <laughs> whoopsies. That's okay. Thank you, repression. That's the time in the world. It's not like it's going to melt down anyway. Fair enough. Alright. Fair enough. Okie dokie, then uh, let's see who needs what stats increased. Who's got some stats I need grinding? Let's pause for a second. Ah, Grimace needs a bit of justice. And so does Miko, but not as much. And we also must say that Miko here, as Maru, you did a good job. Miku, Miko, also very endearing. We do love the character designs in these games. They're fun. They're endearing little guys. Alright.
Hey, can you stop making noises down there, Forsaken Murderer? I'm sick of you. Problem solved. We're just gonna go ahead and uh, keep farming stats. Hello, Shuki. Howdy. Welcome. Uh, we're gonna farm up some stats until we are about to hit green noon. In which case, then we'll just skip to the next day. Just don't have to deal with that. There's no need to right now, so... No benefit to it. Hope the days been treating you well, Shuki. Happy to have you here. We're playing more Lobotomy Corporation. 88. Alright, right, not bad. Not bad. Ah, great to hear. All right, so we have to finish the Tin Man. One day you'll understand the meaning of the desperation on their faces when the roulette spins. Well, we know how, th how we're doing things, though ooh, we do love our friend Rodolto the Slay. The happy teddy bear's fun. Zero, oh, one, oh, oh, zero, one, fifteen. That is who we shall pick. All right. All right. So let's see. The first truth I will tell you is this. Do not trust the AI at your side. In this day and age, most AI possess an intellect of at least 10 regular people combined. Some can even imitate human emotions with ease. However, they can do things you are not aware of yet. For example, some AI can lie. Or rather, to be more precise, they can withhold information. If the controller of an AI is given the order to not share specific information, it has no obligation to tell the truth to anyone other than that controller. Some advanced man will exploit such in order to tell lies, reinterpreting the meaning of the command. I've programmed an AI before. Well, participated in the programming, to be exact. That's how I know for a fact that an AI will not necessarily tell the truth. In case you doubt what I'm saying, I will send you a program for your monitor that I developed myself. This key will function like Pinocchio. The nose will lengthen, the color red means untrue. This is a test version, so it can only be used once. Okay. Cool. Alright. Whew, it's been four hours already. Damn. It doesn't feel like it. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh, phew. Game almost crashed for a moment there. It does that sometimes. Occasionally. It's been known to. Alright. We have saw one more person in. Same with some of our real powerhouses here. Alright. Daniel. Which means we do need to gear up Daniel. All right, Daniel, you cannot have diffraction. You can have...
You can have noise. All right. Well, now we have two new strangers. We're going to ignore this guy for now, actually. That sounds like a great idea. Ignore the aura in your basement. Yay. Yay. Oh, God, we've got a noon of violent today. Oh, boy. All right, so we're going to go ahead and have... Do we want to try attachment? Ooh, that's a dangerous one. But, hey, it's the very start of a new day. So there's no better time to get dangerous with it. Warm-hearted woodsman. It's given us a name. Interesting. We're just short one. Well, we'll go ahead and unlock this. Yep, that makes sense. Attachment's the thing that works best, which means it's the most dangerous thing to work on it with. Excellent. Are you fidgeting faster down here? You better not be. You better don't. All right, Maxim, get in there. And hopefully, we don't get another bad result. Because if we do, well, I guess that means we're spending the time to then focusing on this guy instead. Of the Tin Man. We've got a real bad craving for pizza right about now. It's like, oh, a pizza would be good. Warm-hearted woodsman. All the other characters aren't also in this game. Damn. Sad. Sad we don't have the full Wizard of Oz set. All right. Remind us, if a character ain't gains enough of a level and a stat to level up, it doesn't apply to the next day still, right? We're playing a dangerous game now, potentially. Okay, perfect. So we won't accidentally over-level Maxim in one go here and go, whoopsies. He he. Now Maxim is useless in this situation. And that's why we are already done with You Must Be Happy. We only put Summer into it sometimes to make it funny. In case we can make Summer's stats worse. You know? Ooh, that's a good weapon. Oh, that's a good looking axe right there. Oh, that's, that's fresh and funky. All right. Now we just need, uh, 170 boxes. And a final observation. My heart is too cold. The reason is because I don't have heart. I need a heart. I have a heart in front of me just in time. I will. not cut out their heart. 
I have a heart in front of me, but I didn't cut it out. My heart is still cold. When I get a heart, my heart gets warm. Nevertheless, I did not cut that heart. Because it's not my real heart. We applied the same logic as we did to the scarecrow of the thing they're doing. Just do the opposite. Don't keep. Don't be stuck in this cycle. Mm -hmm. Anyways, now we just need to get uh, 170 boxes, roughly. Now we can be finished out the gear. Now, the reason we're playing so carefully here with uh, Maxim on this one is I'm trying to avoid any problems that could occur before we go to this guy in our attempt to get the points. So that's why I'm only doing it one at a time and not just setting Maxim to loop it or doing anything else. Yeah, that makes sense. Weapons done. You're not even on screen, buddy. Stop that. And on the result here, this should be it. Indeed it is. Perfect. All right. Uh, we didn't bring back Bastard Inter in Summer for this one because we were focused on Maxim. Ah, sad. But we aren't done with the warm hearted woodsman, so I suppose this time. Nah, just kidding. We're going to leave that till tomorrow so we can bring Summer along. Yeah, it makes sense. God, I wish we could go back and get rid of the Forsaken Murderer, if only because... God, he's so loud. <laughs> yeah, that's Summer's next apartment right there, Weiss. Alright, we're done the Warm Hunter Woodsman, so we are just going to finish the day out here. We're good. Shoutouts to Weiss going up to level 4 Prudence immediately. And we are done with the Woodsman, so the Woodsman can just stay there. And we will not touch the woodsman again. And what fun toys will they present us today? Portrait of another world. The tree simply reaped from what it sowed. This bracelet shall not forgive those who hold greed in their hearts. Thus, it must only be worn by those in true need. All right. Shall I make a call? Do you want to pick? No, we're going to pick this one specifically because we know what this tree bastard is. We're not going right. We don't want to do this one again. We're pretty sure. If we remember which one that is correctly, because it's gotten us a few fucking times, we don't want to fuck around with it anymore. The tin woodcutter went on a trip with his colleagues to find a great wizard to restore his heart. It means that even a tin woodcutter has a heart. Where could it be? Final observation of warm-hearted woodsman achieved. How was your day? During mine, I happened to notice that a certain employee filled their water bottle with bare brand beer and had proceeded to drink it during the workday. 
Sometimes I wonder what it would feel like to be intoxicated. One time, I was infected with a virus that prevailed throughout the net at the time. It caused me to perceive everything ten times slower. They say intoxication is similar to that. Everyone laughed at the way I moved sluggishly. Excuse me. Manager? Your facial expression is hard to read today. If you need to say something to me, please do so. Are you going to sabotage the company? I am an artificial intelligence created by and for the company. Every conversation between us is recorded and monitored. And now you're asking me such a ridiculous question whether I am going to act against the company. Let me give you an answer. I only exist as part of the system. Such a plot does not exist, nor will it ever be written. Even if it were, it would not succeed. Hey, that was a funny color. Anyways, I'm not going to worry about that. Alright, now that said, before we get into the next day, we're going to take another short break, because, again, we have been going almost four and a half hours, and we only just noticed that. Whoopsies. Okay. We're going to take another break to get up and stretch and everything. Maybe we'll grab a snack while we're at it. We're a little hungry. Alright. Two unknown burials in here. Daniel, step back. We gotta get Bastion Ninja and Summer in there. So yeah, that's it. We will be right so we're going to send you back on over to the BRB screen, and we will be right back.
All right, and we return. Hope y'all got a good stretch. Welcome in. back, my nature. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So we're back. We stretched. Took a walk around. Stretch the legs out, which is good. So, let's see about getting these two fun new toys explored. And by that I mean one fun new toy. And... This guy. Hi, welcome back, Luna. Keep... Keep you alert. All right, Summer, get on in there, and let's see what's up. All right, it has killed Summer. We're off to a great start. Also, uh, just for clarity and your transparency, we're probably only going to go for about an hour to another hour and a half at most right now, just to uh, kind of pace ourselves out a little bit. But uh, we've made some great progress coming back into this. We're going to see how far we can get. If we can make it to day 21 to unlocking the uh, central command, that was kind of our goal for this stream, was to see if we could get there. So we'll get as close as we can. But, uh, we do have to stop for dinner at some point and make something to eat. Alright. Let's try again. Different step this time. Hi. Hi, you were sitting, sitting there staring at us with so much love in your eyes. Or hunger for treats. Alright, sorry, I, I was I okay to you say something? Sorry, I was talking to one. We were talking to our cat here. Summer's dead again. Summer's dead twice here now. Nice. Nice. Anyways, uh, it started screaming at the last second there. We didn't yeah. anticipate that, or we would have kept watching. Mm. All right, we'll try that again. And we'll see what it does. Uh, so anyways, uh, well, the only thing you missed us saying is that we're probably going to go for like. About an hour, hour and a half at most again. Trying to get back to central is kind of our goal for today, at, at as close as possible. But we do have to stop to make food at some point, you know? Okay, yeah. I At the turn of the hour, I should probably go to sleep because uh, uh, I need like six hours of sleep. I've got to, 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 to see the planet tomorrow morning. And I need to be a little bit away for that. Yeah, that's totally fair as well. That's... Out. It's also, again, yeah, that's the other element. It's about being considerate as well, because uh, you got to get sleep as well, absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right. So if it kills Summer and starts crying again this time, then we're going to see what it does. And Summer has died. Yay. Yay. Another he. Um Okay, it didn't do the thing it did last time because Summer got too good of a result, so. Alright. Here we go again. We're going to keep letting this thing beat Summer to death until we learn something of value. Okay. We can start the proper research at any point, but we're just doing this to be mean. Isn't that right, Luna? Oh, isn't that right? 
I forgot to go down. Alright, let's try attachment. We found the death button. Okay, so it's screaming drains the Clyfoth counters of everything within within that section of the lab. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. What a great abnormality. What a great abnormality to have with the Scarecrow and the Tin Man. Are you having fun back there, Goblin? She's beating the shit out of a shopping bag right now. It's got paper in it, and she's trying to knock it over so she can go inside it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, it's Luna. See, so yeah, if you hear that in the background, that's her having fun and playing. Good. All right. It's enriching for her to smack the shit out of a bag. She's really going to town on that bag. Oh, we got 69 lob points. Hell yeah. Anyways. All right. So we're going to try and not let that happen again. Now that summer's gone, we've learned something of value here. Okay. Alright. Maxim, get in there. Lucky winner is. Uh oh. Alpha twenty four. Yay. a meal. All right, well, hang on. Now everyone has to go quickly suppress the scarecrow. And we can't go to the warm heart woodsman again, but it's good to know that he does not escape when uh, that hits zero. It just has to wait for someone to enter for the escape. Well, that was a learning experience. 30%, eh? That makes sense. Alright, well, I guess for the moment being, we're gonna keep spinning the fucking wheel and we're gonna see who gets lucky. We could see what this thing does, but we're more focused on the, roulette, on the gambling one right now. Alright, let's try Instinct.
All right, that went much better. All right, here we go. Spin the wheel again. Ah, fucking hell, it's Maxim. We're going to retry the deck. We're not letting it start mulching uh, employees that, val that we have value to. But we're willing to spin the wheel until we get there. All right. Here we go again. Actually, in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and quickly order, uh... Delaney, go hold that thing. You were pure of heart and everything. Alright, thanks for hanging out, Nami. We will... Try to figure this out. Her fortitude will greatly increase while Luminous Bracelet is worn. You know what, Delaney? Just for everyone else's safety, I'm going to have you stand down here in the elevator just in case. In case you explode or something. Luminous Bracelet continually recovers the wearer's HP when it drops. Oh, Delaney dropped dead. Alright, we're going to have Bailey hold on to it for a little bit. And then return it. Rare will die if any attempt to return luminous braces made before they are fully healed. Okay. Guys. If you if you heal too much, uh, you get cancer. Excess growth and all that. That explains why Delaney died terribly. All right. Bailey, just go ahead and hold it for like ten more seconds so we get that final level. From excessive regeneration. Okay, they have to get hit while wearing it. Repeatedly. Okay. Alright, now... The sad news... Is that because of all that... 
we still have, even after all that, we still have to reset the day. Because we have to get Delaney back. Okay. Oh well. We'll just be careful about it this time. We now know they can hold it for roughly 30 seconds? 30 seconds at double speed. So about a minute. Almost. Roughly. So as long as we don't just kind of oh. let Delaney keep holding it forever. It gives you increased fortitude when you pick it up, so you you get a little time where it's retreating and not at full HP. Which is nice. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and quickly clean this up then. Go ahead, Delaney. And you're going to stay in this hallway. Alright, we had about 13 seconds to spare, based on when it killed Delaney last. We're just quiet for a moment while we focus on this one and uh, making sure we don't fuck up the return so that it kills Delaney. Alright. Alright. So as soon as that hits four, we're set for that, and that means we can focus our efforts again on dealing with the gambling baby. <sighs> that one scared us because Delaney was standing so far down the hall. All right. Luminous bracelet, all good. All right. And now we have Gambling Baby. Which is going to really suck if we have to immediately reset on this one. Keep gambling. And by the way, this is... Uh, this guy is one uh, Nami and me consider probably the worst one. Fair. Because it's annoying. Here we go! God damn it. Yay! Before you reset, do you maybe want to check out which work has best results? Whoopsies. Never mind. We were a little too quick on the draw there. Um, oh boy! Sorry, I'm not. I'm a little tired. I'm not maybe giving no, that's, out the best. Uh, that's, that's totally fair. Listen, commentary. It's, it's late as fuck for you. What we I know, know that. about uh, the other, the other Wizard of Oz, Abnos? Huh? 
the other wizard of our abnormalities. There's more? Yeah. Oh, we thought it was just the two. two. No, there's... You already know there's like four magical girls, right? Yeah. Yeah, they come... They tend to come in sets. If there's, a, if there's two, there's probably more than two. Hmm. So if you want to know about it? Uh, if we haven't encountered them, then we're not gonna... They're not in lobotomy. Oh, they're not in lobotomy. What are they in? That's what I was asking you if you want the info. Ah, yeah, sure. You can tell us which one they're in. Okay, so there's the security lion. Of course. Which is a uh, currently lion, which is in Wonderlab. And that there's Dorothy, which is in Wonderlab as well. And uh, these two, plus the ones in Lobotomy, they are all four in uh, Runa. Okay. Plus, there's also um, the wizard and the princess. Ooh, interesting. Yes, yeah, so the whole set. Interesting. Nice. Nice. Uh, nice. All right, so instinct went poorly. Insight went... <sighs> that kind of went poorly. That's sad. What do, you, what, do, what do you do when you take care of a baby? Do you, do you talk to it? Do you give it food? Do you clean his room? You beat it up? <laughs> you fucking throw it at, at the wall at high speed. Uh, okay, that's not great. Well, this sucks. Fuck this abnormality. Get some info on it before uh, setting, maybe. Yeah. Okay, it's instinct. You have to. You have to feed the baby. All right. That makes sense. That makes sense. Feed it these fucking fists. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Now we got this unlocked. Okay. The nameless fetus. Yay! Oh boy.
90 boxes, and we can be done with this thing. Nameless fetus. Final observation. The baby never cries. It's been this way forever. Just like how a lack of works doesn't necessarily mean the lack of emotion. A lack of cries doesn't mean lack of needs. Somewhere along the lines, baby got a new mouth. Now cries on behalf of babies who don't know how to cry. He tells people it's angry on behalf of babies. He calls people pain on behalf of babies. You... No one else knows the name of the fetus. But you know. You call it its name. The baby feels with need shuts its mouth for a while. Even if only for a short time, his cries were silent. Baby's name is Chet. We're gonna reveal that okay. secret. Baby's name is Chet. Alright. Now you all know the secret. I know. You're welcome. Yeah, it's Chet with two T's, by the way. Uh-huh. No, I think it's really funny that the baby's ego gift is headphones. It's incredibly funny. It's incredibly funny, actually. Mm -hmm. oh, are you no. going to keep it? Or are you going to memory repo out of it? Uh... Nah, we can ignore it. Honestly, okay. once we're done with this section, we can ignore this entire section here. Just leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me. <laughs> that's. Yeah. Oh, we have headphones and headphones. Multiple people have headphones now. Me listening. Only need to go get some headphones. Just a little bit more work, and then we are done with Nameless Fetus, and we can just quickly finish out the bracelet, and then just finish out the day. Oh. Never mind. That's a 90 we needed. Perfect. On the dot. All right. All right. Don't die this time. Hey, we're paying perfect. Or like, keep, keep it for tomorrow if you want. Don't, don't wanna have to go through that also. You can't just do it later. You have a free day anyway, right? That is true. That is true. Cook! Hi, Kai! Wait, no one's using it. What the hell are we thinking? Howdy, Kai! Welcome! Hello. Let's fucking go, Kai! Are you raid tonight, Kai? Oh, hell yeah, when do you raid? In about an hour, you say. All right. Nice. Good shit. We'll probably come tune into that. That sounds good. I'm 
Yeah, we're just chilling. Fuck yeah. Love. That was always our favorite part of Raid Nights was, uh, when we, when I streamed Raid Nights was experiencing swift ego death. It happens. It's how it goes. Man, we miss when Raid Nights were fun. We miss looking forward to Raid Night. The good old days. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. One of these fucking days, we'll get everyone, we can see about getting everyone back together for a raid night or two. Even if it's just like a one or two off thing, that would be fun, we think. If we could get everyone back together. One more ride, as it were. God, I still haven't fucking even tried the new tier yet. Because we're going to have to do it with pugs. That would be so good if we could do that as a chill weekend thing. That'd be so good. Alright. Perfect. Research is done on that, so now we can go ahead and just quickly farm out the rest of the day. Stop fucking making All right, good job. We did it. We did it. We did it. All right. All right. Now we just see what are we quickly farming. We don't even need stats right now. Well, wait, we got new recruits up here. Up. All right, we have to beat the fuck clowns. All right, the clowns are here. They better not. They better don't. And up there. Oh. And the clowns are don't. Good. Perfect. And that's it. And that's the day. Do you want to call more? There's no need for gr more grinding right now. There'll be time for that. Okay. We just have to get out of there. Again, we got a free day. Ooh, a new one. Oh, the other one now from that choice. That's not a flower. Order all the employees nearby to evacuate immediately. All right. Considering that only one employee's life is taken for security. Each name is really cheap. No matter how hard I think about it, though, it's a good thing I picked you as the manager. The meaning of a name is very precious, isn't it? Final observation, a nameless feat is achieved. Did you hear the news, manager? They say a rodent found its way into the appliance group. One of our facilities restricted areas. This could become a very serious issue. Removing the rodent itself should not be much of a problem. However, its feces in the cables they have not on may damage the system. This is one of the reasons why we emphasize security so much. You would do best to remember that. I will personally deal with the rodent this time. But if you happen to find any rodents, manager, please. Notify me immediately. Hey, hell. Let's go ahead and open the safety team. Why the hell not? Go crazy with it.
All right, yeah, depending on what abnormalities we get here, we'll see how long we keep going. If we make it to Central, to Day 21 or not. If not, eh, not a huge issue either way. All right. It's only fair we move Winston back to his home apartment. And let us begin. Let's see what friend we're dealing with this time. This is it's like a flower version of one of those deep sea fish. Maybe? Okay, that's what it looks like at least. Alright. Ah, oh, we forgot to bring summer. Ah. Well, that's no good at all. Hang on. We need to make sure our least favorite intern is here. So we can send that bastard to get Excuse mulched. Excuse me for dropping in. Hello, Winston. And hello, Shay. Welcome. We forgot again how much fucking louder than the game Winston is. Oh, no, no. Summer does not get a day off from being sent to hell. It's the only thing they're good for. Alright. Maxim, you have to wait. It's going well. We're on day 15 again. We're racing up there. We've got some friendly new faces. We've met some new creatures here. And a guy. And half the cast of the Wizard of Oz. And a baby that we hate. It's going great. We're quickly catching back up to where we were. And now we've got this weird thing waiting for us. So, there's only one thing to do now. Go touch it, Summer. Go touch that thing. Go poke it with a stick. Just kidding. We won't supply a stick. Touch it with your hands. We're noticing a distinct lack of Summer getting mulched into a fine paste. Which is upsetting. Repress this damn thing, Summer. All right, so it's a teth level, pretty sure. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Damn it, this is kind of mid on everything. Including where we're trying to get Summer killed. Damn it. Where did it go? It's not still in there. Uh-oh. Where is it? Wow, wow, wow. 
I wonder who would have done it. Wait a minute. Summer? What are you doing? I thought you just died, Summer. Or didn't you? Uh -huh. I, I know where it is. Did you see it? No. No, we Do don't. You want to you? Give us a moment. Yeah. Where is it? There it is. There it is. No, maybe not the best idea to walk into a gaping mouth on the floor. <laughs> Hell yes! Okay! Now we know what we're playing with here. Oh, okay. you know. Okay. Now we know the... Now we know the score. Alright! Okay, so now we know if it does manage to escape to uh, find it and use ranged attackers to kill it. Gotcha. Uh -huh. That makes sense. Yeah, that's bad. Oh no, Grimace. We're so sorry, Mackie. We did not mean to wake you up. Alright. Alright, Maxim can come back in. Alright, let's do this. Or, hear me out. Okay. Alright. What do you got, Wise? Mmm, now that's thinking right there. That's thinking. Alright. We bought, like, all four of the Instinct Workless, and we can't remember a single one of them. Except that they were just all kind of mid. Oh, Maxim, get in there. Uh oh. Oh, hey, we found it. All right. Uh, who's got guns? Wait, we never gave you a real weapon. What the fuck? Uh, not any of you. Uh, Winston. Overwatch. Winston Overwatch. Yes, that is the Schnizzle, A.K.A. Kai, the Final Fantasy XIV Raider, and cool dude. Uh-huh. Sorry, Kai used to be an old raid, uh, raid team member of us and ours and Grimace's. 
And it was the best fucking raid team we were ever on. Shut up in there, Forsaken Murderer. You shut the hell up. God, we still want pizza really badly. Okay, you keep breaking out. Okay, which hallway did you spawn in this time? Uh... Oh, convenient. This might be quiet. You got any info on this yet? When the work took less than 40 seconds to complete? Oh boy. Oh, but it gives you a little teeth. That's cute. Little teeth. Mm hmm. You know what that means? <sighs> we gotta work on it slow as hell? Yeah, but how do you do that? You have to fucking start the work and like pause the game for 40 huh? seconds. Do we have to like. What? What do we do to slow down the work? Hmm. We have, wow. to, we have to keep an eye on the work time there for each of them. Everyone's too damn fast. And how do you make work slower? How do you make work faster? We need a low temperance stat. That's right. <laughs> I hope you still have your low temperance guy from the Tin Man. Oh, yeah, we do. Maxim now has almost max temperance because of working with the Tin Man. <laughs> well, oopsies, then. All right, all right, I we're gonna... You, I think you're starting to see a pattern on the ones you've been avoiding last time here. Avoiding a schmoiding. Choice, the, the choice of the people led us down this road. But all right. Okay. Yes, the, pe the people didn't want you to bang your head against... Uh, uh, yeah, the people were very kind fucking... and considerate to us. All right, um, here we go. We're making another low temperance teammate. This time we're gonna we because it's the prudence stat that matters the most here, we can just drop the fucking temperance all the way down. Alright. And hire someone new. Let's see who it gives us. Welcome to the team, Rogan. And this guy is... I mean, all of the low temperance guys are annoying because temperance is also like walk the test chance. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little annoying. Oh well. So it goes. Yeah.
Okay. So that seems to work. For now, at least. Yeah. Well. Meat lantern. Yeah, this guy's in, uh... Is it is in Nimbus also? We just really like the name Meat Lantern. That's funny. That's a funny name. That's not really funny. Right, well, I think it's 2 a.m., so I'm going to go now. That's fair enough, yeah. Um, We're probably going to wrap. Thanks for the stream and thanks for uh, having me, okay? Of course, thank you for being here to help us once again. Uh, we'll be back next next week if for that as well. We'll yeah. keep going. But, uh, yeah, we're just going to wrap up today with Meat Lantern, and then that's going to be it for the stream, we think. Okay. So that's no fine. Problem. So, yeah, thank you for hanging yeah. out, Psycho. Uh, see ya. See ya. On the end of the day. Bye -bye. Ears open. Bye bye. All right. And now, like we said, we're just gonna finish out the meat lantern here, and that's gonna be it for uh, stream today, probably. Oh, <laughs> that's incredibly good, actually. See, punishing bird, we. We just love letting Punishing Bird wander the facility instead. We never care about Punishing Bird. It's just funny. Plus, when we play at super high speeds, it's really fucking funny to us to just hear the rap punch sound effects as uh, Punishing Bird flies around. That's so good, Cybermoth. Hell yeah. Alright. Oh, Lantern. Lantern. Slightly scary outfits, but all right. 50 and... All right, so we just need 100. Okie dokie. Alright, final observation. You find a flower while walking in the hallway. A bright flower in the dreary hallway is enough to attract your attention. You look at the flower. We call the staff. You know that this is not a flower. You quietly call the staff. The trap was demolished without anyone stepping on it. Nice. All right. Oh, wait. The Krogan got little teepees. Nice. Hmm. 
We're gonna say it. Makes him look like a Homestuck character. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's fucked up, Cybermoth. But also, it was very funny that it caught you for the word bimbo. Twitch was like, hey, are you sure about this one? That's a bit, ooh, that's a bit sketch. It's a bit misogynistic. Oh, wait. Alright, so we got everything done. Alright. So now we just finish up today. Yeah, fuck it. I'll just keep doing this. May have to risk the work over here to try and get the day done in time for noon fires. Ah, shit. Damn it all. Well... This is a tragic note to end that on. But. So it goes. Our hubris was caught the better of us. Once again. And this is how it goes. Welp. So it be. So it be. That said. Like we said earlier. I think that is where we're going to call the stream. Because we're hungry. We're really hungry. we got to figure out dinner. Something to eat. So. That said. This was a fun stream. This was a good stream to return to, we think. It was fun. Let's check the codex. We're at 68% now. Hell yes. And hopefully by the time we hit the end, we might even reach get might get pretty close to 100%. All right.
so close to greatness. You're so goddamn right. We've missed it. We've missed it by a. We've missed it by just the tiniest bit. All right. So that said, we are gonna raid y'all on over to Kerbumble. Ah, Weiss. Thank you for the follow. We're so happy to have you here. I'm glad you enjoyed it. The deer knows you're there now, and the rest of the crew. Be safe. All right. So, coming up this week, on Friday, we're going to stream something, as we usually do. Uh, we're not 100% set on what we're going to stream yet. Probably, if knowing us, it's probably going to be more Street Fighter, unless we can rope some people into playing another game with us. We've got some ideas. Uh... But yeah, so it's probably going to be more Street Fighter. Uh, man, we don't know if we can talk about that yet. Anyways, next Monday. Because we don't know quite what else is going on here this week. But next Monday, as usual, we will be going over. We'll be on our pal, our pal's grape stream. Check out a bit fruity for our little streamer group of pals. Uh, we'll be on Grape Stream. We're doing a shout out here. Yeah, we'll be going over there and finishing the back half of Metal Gear Rising Revengeance as part of our Metal Gear Marathon. So, hey, come check that out. And again, next Tuesday, we'll be back with more Lobotomy Corporation. We'll finish out We'll uh, go ahead and quickly finish out, you know, our new friend, the lurking plant, the meat lantern. Then from there, we shall delve into finishing as many of the abnormalities as possible. So yeah, we're going to send you all on over to Kerbumble, aka Caro. Be chill. Be cool. Uh, have... A good time. Caro is going to be streaming Parasite Eve, which we are not familiar with, so but we're very excited. It's going to be a fun one. So, thank you all so much for watching, and again, huge shout-outs to Psycho for joining us for most of the stream there. Always enjoy having Psycho on. It's fun. Uh, so yeah, with that said, we are going to call it there and go get something to eat. So thank you all so much for joining us here tonight. We hope y'all have yourselves a wonderful day, night, whatever time it is for you. And we're going to go ahead and start the raid. All right. Perfect. All right. So y'all head over there and have a fun time. All right. Enjoy it. In the meantime, as always, stream's over now. Good night.